Let's do it. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to the Distinct and Jovial podcast. My name is Dom, and I am joined by my wonderful co-host, Jerry. Greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> it is the 22nd of July, 2022. This is our 14th episode. And as always, the views that we express on this podcast are strictly our own and do not represent the company that we work for. Uh, and yeah, we did all YouTube spill in like record time there, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Without going, I thought I'm going to get that all in before we go off on a tangent like we normally do when we do a podcast. Yeah, no, it's good. You have to squeeze it in first. And then I was going to wave my hands like Kermit in the Muppet Show because 14th episode. 14th episode. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. Although we, I think this might be our, no, no, this is our 14th episode because it includes the bonus one that we did. The... Yeah, 14th includes the Brucey. Yes, yeah, yeah. the Brucey okay. bonus. Yeah, um, we will. I will always say the caveats that we've currently got. Uh, Jerry's internet seems to be performing at the rate of snails. Um, we're very much enjoying that, um, and I also seem to have a graphics card issue, which means that every now and then Chrome just boots me out with a status access violation. Um, but I, I, for the first time, I actually have proof that it's the graphics card. So maybe I'll be fixed. And um, all I'm going to say is, there's now it wrong with dial-up. <laughs> well, okay. at least it's not making the funny noises. That's the difference here. Yeah, it? it did at the beginning, but it's okay now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, a really good impression. <laughs> at least, at least, at least, at the moment, you don't need to. I mean, I live on my own, so it's okay. But you don't need to suddenly shout to your wife, "Get off the phone! I'm on the internet." <laughs> Mom, what that? are you doing? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Can you believe that's how it used to work? Mm. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Good old good old dial up and people good do that. Dial up. So what are we doing on this episode? This is our year on from our Vanity Fair interview. So we are going to probably dive straight into that in a minute. Um we we enjoy doing kind of the slightly shorter like hour and a half podcast last time and had some positive feedback so this may end up more around that time um namely also because both me and jerry are knackered <laughs> so we'll squeeze it in in five minutes yeah, we'll I, reckon we should, I reckon we can get this done by 9 40 and it's now 9 36 <laughs> yeah in out shake it all about so, bosh pineapple <laughs> on pizza no next <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> so I, I, I've definitely taken a little bit of time to reflect. Um, there was some, act I didn't realize actually some of the questions that we had was um, how to call it, like really profound. And some of the answers that we gave were deeper than I thought, but also funnier than I remember. So I remember listening, I was listening to back this, the, the episode back last, uh, last night to pick up some of the notes. And I kind of come away and went, I really enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed my our own podcast. Does that make me a bit of a narcissist? Narcissist. <laughs> I don't know. Is that the right word? I don't know. No, there are some really profound questions in there, like "What is your name?" <laughs> yeah, other than the first one. <laughs> and by the way, mine's changed <laughs> since we did this last. <laughs> well, the, I, I I put my bit in the notes, right? Because obviously we've come up with. Oh, <laughs> so i mean we, we'll go straight on to that so the first question we asked was what is our name so obviously my name is dom <laughs> but i have put in my notes here i put you know jerry the man the myth the legend <laughs> dom the ham the pith the legend <laughs> i put legend in the notes and then and then jerry has his own name for me <laughs> which is getting longer and longer each time it is. We... i think about every month i add a, a name to it don't i am i allowed to Does say that... it? yeah go for okay, it so it makes me laugh dominic julius irving morningwood white <laughs> <laughs> and we do we just get like random oh, random names just added to to what we've got so yeah the list it's, is building. it's it's all that's why i mentioned it <laughs> Anyway, we've been right. through our names. We've got these wonderful long names. We do. Well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and you're that. I'll add another one in August. 
Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for what we're going to have in August. That's going to be great. That's going to be. Because morning wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My only issue. That's a slightly dodgy. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like you know, tenting type related activities, I suppose, isn't it? Sorry, hey, there's not wrong with camping. <laughs> yeah, listen, your mum listens to this. I know, and I got told off for the last podcast. Dominic, well. did you? Yeah, and when I mentioned a driving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it. The thing is, it's like the next day my sister was in the car with my mum and she was <laughs> she did exactly what I said. I'm going to have it. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tiny little city go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, because we Googled it, didn't we? And it's yeah. yellow. Is that right? Yeah. Bright yellow. Yeah. Bright, bright, bright yellow. yellow. Nice. We did nice. prevent her from putting eyelashes on the damn car. Which I think <laughs> might disown her if that happens. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, so, the, the second question that we asked on our um, Vanity Fair interview was, what is the date? Uh, so, last time it was the 16th of July. And um, very appropriately, we then there was a bit of discussion about um, melting clocks. I can't remember who the artist that you mentioned. I didn't type it down quick enough. Salvador Dali. Yeah, that's it. But before we go any further, Dom, I'm sorry, I've just checked the notes. It makes me laugh that... Just, I, I knew it was bothering you, so you went to put a space between leg and end on yes. the legend. Yes. That cracked me up. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, that's that guy, I just had to point that out. That's, yeah. that's classic. You didn't yeah. need to do that. We've already <laughs> moved on to the next point, but it's just a matter of pride. I just have to put it in. Pride, principle. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Passion. <laughs> we have standards. I, right. I think I think the melting clocks is appropriate in terms of like what the heat that we've oh. had recently and the fact oh, that we we both God. just went was Monday was it really only four days ago it feels like about six months. I think I think when you don't sleep every night, <laughs> yeah. the week definitely feels longer. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. I had does. a horrendous night's sleep last night, but anyway, we'll come on to that. I'm jumping ahead. I mean, did you sleep okay on the on the other two days or not? Nope. <laughs> nope. Because the, the house hasn't really cooled down yet. It takes time to cool down. So, you know, it, yeah. would, it would cool down really quickly if it suddenly dropped from, you know, 80 degrees centigrade <laughs> than it was on Monday, or that's what it felt like, <laughs> um, you know, down to something like 10, but it, it hasn't. So it's just yeah. cooling down very, very slowly. So, yeah, I haven't slept all week. Yeah. Um. So we're recording this on the 22nd, so we are a year and six days, so 371 days yeah. after we did this. That's pretty good, nice. and, we've done, and, we, and obviously we've done podcasts every month, so uh, I'm really kind of pleased with the amount of podcasts that we've done and how they've I'm gone. proud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm really proud. Yeah. I, I forgot to mention as well, as well as all the technology issues, we did record the last podcast on the 9th of June. So it has been like a month and a half since we've done a podcast. I'm feeling a little bit rusty, not going to lie. <laughs> not going to lie. Fine. Just have some cod liver oil and you'll be all right. I am curious about the... <laughs> wow, and I've gone teenage boy again. Jesus, that was a voice break. Um, <laughs> I, I am curious about the notes that you've put on on this day. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I just thought, I'd, I thought, oh, that's interesting. 22nd of July. So I looked up on this day and it came up with this fact. American aviator Wiley Post completed his first solo flight around the world. He covered 15,596 miles. That's 25,099 kilometers for the people who like metric <laughs> in seven days. 18 hours and 49 minutes, and that was in 1933. We can't even get internet to work in the year <laughs> 2022, or just a simple app. Yet, yet, in 1933, Wiley Post, and I love that name as well, <laughs> might have to add one of those in, maybe Wiley Post or something. <laughs> Morningwood Wiley. Well, unfortunately, my, Morningwood the name Wiley, you Wiley. <laughs> Well, the, the the name that you've come up with me is like really traditional old. It's, it's a bit like um, Benedict Cumberbatch's name, isn't it? It's yes. very British. Yes. That's that's kind of what you're going for with me. Wiley Post is definitely an American name. Yeah, it is. 
It's, it's it's very it's, American. Yeah, you've got Wiley Post on the American scale, and then you've got you know like Sir Chutney Black Pudding or something on the. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Chutney Black Pudding. <laughs> on the on the English side. Yeah. There's always, there's always those people that spell Benedict Cumberbatch's name wrong and then put like different things in. Uh, I can never spell. <laughs> what? That's his fault for having the name Benedict. Can you try saying that ten times in a row when you're pissed? I don't know if I could do that ten times in a row. Yeah, it's like it's sober. Burlington coat. <laughs> <laughs> Burlington. <laughs> Buffalo custard bath. <laughs> Beneficial cucumber. <laughs> Humble smack scramble butt. <laughs> Eggs Benedict cumber bun. <laughs> Bandicoot cumber snoop. There is the second voice break today, and we're not even... We've been recording for 17 minutes, and God only knows how actually we are in this podcast due to the number of errors and stuff that we've had today. I don't know anymore. I love it. Oh, my God, there's hundreds of these things. Some of them I can't, re I can't really say. <laughs> Beneficial Cucumber is definitely one of the most ones I've heard. Of Bi them. Bible dudes coming back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Derelict <laughs> rumbly hat. <laughs> this is this is a classic. Bundle up, catch your death. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bre <laughs> Brenda Dirk, crample scrunch. <laughs> That's a <amazing>. band aid <laughs> chowder pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken. I'm crying. Oh dear. Crying. Whatever next. <laughs> We're already on names, Jerry. We're I know. names in Blend names. <laughs> Blender boob waffle stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on video. I'm on video. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. My eyes are He's not going to help you. <laughs> oh, my God. Take him to church. He needs Jesus. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Are you glad <laughs> I mentioned that now? I love it. I'm doing all night after this. I'm just going to be losing. But <laughs> it's getting really a bit sublime. Benefits coordination. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna introduce one each day. <laughs> Every time we're at you work. You should do. You should do. This has made me laugh. Like that. That quote from Chicken Run. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of an inside joke. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like gravy. And then the one that we got, Jerry, was all oh, midlife flashed before my very eyes. It was really boring. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do a Yorkshire action, which oh. is what Babs the Chicken has in Chicken Babs, Run. Babs the Chicken. <laughs> oh, I love that film. So funny. Oh, dear. I did watch it after we, on that weekend. That I we, did. I did <laughs> as well. I did as I had to watch Chicken Run. In fact, Rachel watched it with me. We, we were having such a laugh. That was brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I love that scene when she gets measured up. Oh, I saw the laugh yeah. flash before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They were right, boring. <laughs> the chickens, Mrs. McCready. <laughs> and then the only other quote similar to that that I absolutely adore is it seems to be a TikTok noise. And it's like, Randall, there's a cow outside. <laughs> it's a cow farm. There's going to be cows outside. <laughs> Which I don't know what film that's from, but it's one of the best TikToks. Yeah, that, what TikTok film noises. is that from, actually? We've got way I off I don't peak. think it's one I've seen. Yeah, and, and this is normal. <laughs> Randall? There's a cow Randall. outside. Barnyard. Barnyard, 2006. I can't say it's one I've seen. 
Yeah, I'd say I... it's a film I've seen. I think I have. I think Rachel was quite yard, young. Yard. <laughs> Rachel was quite yard. <laughs> God, is that 2006? Yeah. Jeez Louise. I, I, I think we worked out Chicken Run was 99, didn't we? Yeah. 2000. 2000. <sighs> Still. Yeah. Jane Horrocks plays Babs. The yeah. Yeah. Jane Hor- I love Jane Horrocks. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> rat boring. Rat boring. That literally. Oh, dude. I'm. I'm going to think. I'm going to have to have that on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have it etched on my gravestone. I think I've. I've decided. I'm going to have to update my will. This is what I want on my gravestone. <laughs> I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> it was rat boring. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> well, I suppose at least we're talking about movies and things oh, as we talk go into the other bit that was mentioned last time that we did this, which I mentioned about myself ditching Netflix. Which yeah, I didn't. I don't know why, Dom. I didn't know that until I read it, and I thought, oh, okay, so you've ditched Netflix. Well, I've I've half ditched Netflix, and Netflix, please close your ears, la 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 la. So, uh, probably about three months ago, I was paying for netflix disney plus and amazon prime right and um the fa- all the family scrounge off me <laughs> right so they want to watch you netflix sure or disney plus they blog. <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm fine i'm sure it's fine it's fine right and which is which is all well and good but then i was like hang on a minute <laughs> this is costing me like like half your salary equipment <laughs> A month again, just on subscriptions. Yeah. Now TV, yeah. Disney. That's what's going to yeah, happen. Well, I, yeah. You, one, one half of your salary, everyone's salary, is going to go on gas and electricity, and the other half's just going to go on subscriptions. <laughs> People go, yeah. I'm hungry, I'm cold, there's no light, but at least I've got Netflix. I've got a choice of Netflix. hundreds of channels. Sky. Yeah. yeah. So I've half ditched Netflix. So it's still my account as normal. But my sister pays me for it, all of it, oh, and then okay. I still pay for Disney. Uh, she pay uh, she she pays for that, uh, and then my parents have, uh, and then I also do Amazon. But my parents have Sky, which I can then use the Sky Go app, which which is pretty useful. So it just spread the cost around the three of us a little bit more. That's a good idea. Um, so I still I still have it. Just just I just don't pay for it, so to speak. Um, but then I haven't I haven't watched anything on Netflix for a very very long time, um, and I'm sure there's going to be people shouting at me. Why haven't you watched Stranger Things? And I'd be like, because it's a horror TV show, and I don't like horror ah. things. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good it is. Doesn't matter how good it is. It's still no, horror she, related, so I can't. Yeah, watch she, it. I don't like horrors, Dom. But I, I would say watch Stranger Things. It's not. It's yeah. not a horror in the but traditional sense. But it's also a little bit of my like. I, ref, I it's in the same bucket as Breaking Bad. Okay. So I've never seen Breaking Bad, <clears throat> and I I haven't seen Breaking Bad purely on principle because everyone told me to watch yeah, Breaking Bad, and I was like, no, sod you. Yeah, it does sound <laughs> like you've crossed that line, and I do get it. <clears throat> yeah. I do get it. Once you've crossed the line, there's no going back. So yeah, it's that's fine. It, 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 it's it's like I can't I can't now watch Stranger Things. I don't, I don't, it just doesn't that doesn't appeal to me. But yeah, I haven't watched anything on Netflix for very very okay, long. Okay, so time, I can so. tell you the ending anyway. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna spoil yeah, it for spoiler everybody else. Alert. <laughs> spoiler alert! The butler. Spoiler did alert! It in the drawing room, <laughs> it was Colonel Mustard <laughs> in the drawing room with a lead pipe. <laughs> there you go. Sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> Job done. You don't need to watch Stranger Things now. Oh. Four seasons or whatever it is. L- locked room mystery yeah. tour type thing. Love a bit of Cluedo. So, and, um, but I am watching stuff on Disney, though I haven't watched Miss Marvel yet. That's the only thing on Disney okay. I, need to, I need to watch. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the fun thing. But you were watching Shit's Creek last time. God, that's how long ago it was. To... Yeah. Yeah. That oh, was a year ago, Derek. I know, but it... <laughs> Really does feel like longer than a year. Um, <clears throat> yeah, finished watching Shit's Creek. Watched every episode of every season. Brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Um, and in fact, it, it was one of those. Um, it was one of those very, very rare occasions where they've actually 
<clears throat> they closed the story arc. They wrapped it up really nicely. So it had a proper ending and a quite mm. satisfying ending. And you go, yeah, that's cool. That was a nice, well-rounded series rather than, you know, they make, you know what they t- tend to do, don't they? And Netflix is really quite bad at this. They'll start a, mm. a series and it'll be bloody brilliant. So they had um, a program called Mind Hunter, which was based on um, the true story of the FBI criminal profile. Basically, the guy that set up serial killer profiling he was the first one to do it in the world mm. in fact, and, and he was he's part of the fbi mm. um and they made two seasons of mind hunter and oh my god it was unbelievable and then they canned it mm. <laughs> yeah oh, so just so, straight. so the weird thing was so at the beginning of each episode they had a little mm. bit showing the the development of the btk killer so how he sort of became the mm. btk killer and they were probably only about mm-hmm. quarter of the way into that story by the time they got to the mm. end of season two and then they just can the whole bloody thing no explanation mm. no reason why i think it's more i think you know if you say it's a good ending i mean uh, you know i think of some of the, the the big tv shows that i've watched game of thrones oh. lost I just, I just oh. don't just like there seems to be an inability to you get like a great sort of like one to sort of six seasons then you get that season that feels like a bazillion miles an hour and then they finish it and you think hmm yeah i'm not not just i mean ga- people always say game of thrones like get over the game of thrones no. ending but i'm just you know, you know just at that point where you're just like I'm just so disappointed in the ending. I, like, I can't now go back and watch the rest of it because I know how terrible right. the the, right. the ending was. Like you know that it's going to be yeah. unsatisfactory, um, you know. And and it just you know, get it. Lost was another one. Just I was like, well, what Lost is, is old enough for for us to do a spoiler alert, isn't it? Do you think? Mm, yeah. So, yeah, I think Lost is on. I think Game yeah, of I mean, Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones, is like that final season, they. <clears throat> they I don't know what they did. There was like the odd. Half of the episodes were so slow, nothing happened. Everyone's just sitting around a campfire yeah. roasting chestnuts, having having long conversations and contemplating their navels. And then you, you go to the next episode, and <laughs> it's just full on. It's just fighting from the first minute to the last minute. Then it's them contemplating navels again and roasting chestnuts. Like. What are you doing? I think I think also for me, right, the, the especially the last two kind of episodes, like, like even the, so, we are going to get going to so spoiler alert if you're not seen Game of Thrones, right? So even the the bit where you know uh, Jon Snow kills um, Daenerys Targaryen, right? Even you know that had the shock factor that I expected, right? But then, but it was too early. Right, because you, it was they, they literally like kind of only really had like half a season together, and there could have been so much more that yeah. they could have built up with the characters. But also, there were so many other characters they just yeah. forgot yeah. about. Like we didn't, we didn't see anything about Rickard Stark. We didn't re. Bran's ending was just crap. Right, like <laughs> yeah, there's no, no other true. word for it. Like to 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 bring him in and just suddenly go right. He's the ruler of King's Landing. <laughs> oh, okay, and they, and they live right, happily what? after. Yeah. Wh- why? Yeah, there was, and like you didn't really see how he got to King's Landing and all some of the tr- trials and tribulations that he's been through and. And I think, you know, there's a couple of ways that I would have probably played it a little bit better, a little bit more portrayal, a little bit more, like, uh, jeopardy. It was just suddenly like, oh, we're all happy and dancing, sing around, jobs are good, <laughs> and off we go, bye. And it was... Yeah. Like, Game of Thrones is, was, was the type of program that I think could have gotten away with a bad, bad guy winning, so to speak, and it would have been more satisfactory. Like, that's almost, uh, you could have got away with it. You very rarely get films where the bad guy wins. Empire Strikes Back kind of is about the only one, really, that comes to mind. Like, it it has a really good ending, but it ends in a way, mm. you know there's going to be a sequel, but it also ends in a way that you think, ah, the bad guys have won this one, really, if you think about it. And that's what I like about it. It's what's why it's my favourite Star Wars movie. Um, and they never really replicated that with anything else. So, 
Yeah, just and Game of Thrones, and then it just, it just, it just, it was just too quick, uh, and yeah, they could have done so much more with it. <clears throat> slight detour. It's been a v- slight detour. Well, I mean, we're on we're on television. I think it's really good. It was really interesting to sort of say we can add into for our Vanity Fair next year. Like, what are we currently yeah. watching? So, I'm currently watching, or I'm about to start watching Miss Marvel, um, and. Uh, a load of Star Wars stuff because I've not I'm not up to date on the Star Wars stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But and it'll be interesting to see how I actually <laughs> managed to watch any of it because I watch so little <laughs> television. Yeah, at but, the moment. yeah, but I think that's a quite a good thing. You can get into a bad habit of just you know just switching on the TV, thinking right, I'm going to watch another episode of something, watch another episode of something. It's it's I, I prefer watching. Must admit, I do find watching films more satisfying because. You ha- you have your your beginning, middle, mm. end all in one s- sitting, and you wrap that up, and you just yeah. oh that was brilliant. So I watched an amazing film, and I'm not gonna give any of the storyline away, um, but House of Gucci, mm. uh, which is on Amazon Prime. Actually. Oh yeah, so I s- that wasn't Netflix. It's a, that's Amazon. Prime. Oh, is it? Okay, oh, my lordy lord, what a film! What a film! Oh. Um, yeah, I, I had. High wow. expectations for it because it's such a brilliant cast, such a strong cast, and it just mm, took very strong my cast. expectations and just blew them out of the water. Was, uh, got to the end of the film, and Chloe, Chloe and I were just just looked at each other and went, uh, "That's like one of the best films we've ever seen." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the wow, acting really? in it okay. is just That's interesting. <clears throat> I mean, I, so the last film that I saw was so I saw the most recent Marvel movie, which is, which is um, Thor: Blood and Thunder. Blood and Thunder. Yeah. No, what's the whatever the new Thor film? Thor. Thor. It's Blood and Thunder. Love and Thunder. Sorry, blur. Love and Thunder, which actually was uh, a bit disappointing, okay. if I'm honest. But it's like I'm so invested in the Marvel universe, I kind of have <laughs> to watch it, whether you like it or not. Okay. To a certain extent. Not, yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I had high expect, I had very high expectations because it was the same director as who did the previous one, so Ragnarok, which was very good, um, and it was a bit, it was a bit janky. There's, a, there's a lot of cringe comedy, and I'm not a fan of cringe comedy, so uh, yeah. But um, yeah, that 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 was that was the last film that I watched. Um, but the last good film that I watched this year was actually the Batman. I, I really want to see that with uh, yes. Rob, Rob, with Robert Pattinson, how, how does um, that rank? With a, is it how amazing? Does it rank, for example, against uh, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, The Batman, Ooh. and then um, uh, Batman Begins, and then the <laughs> other ones that I'm yeah. less of a fan of. Yeah, they're a bit wow, before my okay. time. That was- but very, very, it's right up there. Um, and they do, all of the actors are great in it. Like Robert Patson does a really good job. Um, the way I describe it, so um, Christian Bale does a very good, um, kind of, does a very good Batman and a very good kind of Bruce Wayne. Um, Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne is less good, but it's, it's, it's different. Um, but his Batman's really good. Um, and then, uh, what's his name? Who's 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 the Batman in the Justice League? Oh, um, his name? Ben Affleck. Yeah, Ben Affleck. Yeah, <laughs> Ben Affleck does a terrible Batman, but he does quite a good Bruce Wayne. So it's kind of you kind of got a bit bit more. Um, and obviously, I think the Justice League was kind of ruined because they tried to do stuff too quick. But uh, yeah, there's some good there's some good uh, DC movies that are, that look quite good. But yeah, definitely. Um, the, the 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 Batman like being separate from that universe was just it was it was proper mint and it follows very closely the comic right. books and I, Batman is one of the few comic books that I've read the other okay. one being Spider Man is the other one I'm a big fan of actually reading comic books so yeah Robert yeah, Pattinson I think that. That, that was an interesting choice of casting wasn't it which I was, when I mm. saw it advertised and I thought mm, okay really. <laughs> Um, then I, th- mm. I don't know. I watched the trailers and thought, yeah, this is working. So I'm, yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, really, really recommend it. Um, I think the the only the only thing I there's only one thing I disliked about it, which was 
after they finished it, like after they finished the concluded the action sequence and bits like that, you normally get, you know, you get five, ten minutes of like kind of post action scenes to kind of close off the film. For some strange reason, there's about 20 minutes of it. It's just probably okay. about five minutes too long. Um, and there's one sequence that's particularly a little bit long. And I was just like, <laughs> get on with it. Because also you're at the end of a three and a half hour film. So you're uh, thinking, uh, you oh, God. <laughs> yes, yeah, long. Now? It's a long film. It didn't feel long until I got to that scene and then I realised I've been sat there for three and a half hours and it's like, well, oh I've got three and a half hours God. of my body going. That's insane. So I would have preferred to, I think I've watched it. It's about to pause yeah. it, I think it's probably the term. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I had no idea it was that long. Bloody hell. Yeah, quite a long film. Jeez, it's quite a long okay. film. But worth it, worth it. Next question on our Vanity Fair was, how many subscribers do we have? Um, and I, I, so I'm going to, I'll read out, I can read these out. And I just want to, I just want to hear your reaction to them, Jerry. You can see them on the notes. Um, but I also, uh, um, I've added some notes from the other thing. So at the time, last time we had five subscribers on YouTube, 13 individual listeners on Spotify and 10 individual plays on, on Apple. Um, and I, you know, at the time as well, I'd, <clears throat> I think in the first episode, I discussed like uh, my fear <laughs> yeah, of right. tattoo parlors almost uh, and some other things. Um, and I went into a bit of depth on why I've never been on the very first episode that we did. And on the second episode, after discussing it with Laura, who's been on the podcast, <laughs> she was like, I'm going to drag you to a tattoo parlor and stuff like that. But I think to say on that bit, I've not been to a tattoo parlor. I think um, I did, although I, I you know, Unfortunately, Laura lives the other end of the country, <laughs> the arse end of nowhere. Um, it's a long way. It's a long way. Um, and when I did, when I did want to go and see her, and, and I was in her location for a completely different, re- unrelated reason, uh, she bloody had COVID, didn't she? God damn it! God flipping damn it! Um, but she was, uh, I will say she was an amazing friend because despite having COVID, she still let us into the garage for me to park my car for free nice. <laughs> for the, for the four nights, uh, that I was there. So yes, I, I am forever in your debt, Laura. Um, maybe you'll eventually get dragged me to a tattoo parlor at some point. Um, but the number of subscribers that we have on YouTube, we have 21 subscribers. Um, we have 40 individual listeners on Spotify. Um, we have uh, 16 Spotify followers specifically, and we have, oh, I've written 10 individual plays on Apple, but I'm, I couldn't actually find that stat out. So I'm just going uh, to, to this time, because uh, Apple have removed <laughs> the analytics oh, from their useful. bloody thing. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was a bit like, thanks. Um, but I was looking at the RSS kind of feed statistics. And in fact, do you know which is our most downloaded audio podcast which episode, Ooh, episode number i i don't know i would say though i think it's got to be the amber heard one isn't it uh Ooh. I, so it's not that's our most that's our most our most youtube right v- um watched one is our amber <laughs> amber turd and okay. johnny depp one our most uh, audio one is actually our vanity fair one from last year oh, hey. No yeah, way. yeah. Okay. So, interesting, interesting facts. I think that's probably a combination of having Vanity <laughs> yeah, Fair yeah, and Avril Lavigne in the title. That's going to help. <laughs> Just, yeah. I've purely gone onto like viral nice. social media to see if I can get this pushing. Um, and just, you know, the, the 21 subscribers on YouTube is quite interesting because that shows people, you know, constantly want to come back to it. And, and at five subscribers that we had last time, it was a bit like, oh, I know who those, the two of them yeah, are. I don't a, know who these other... That's a good figure. I'm really proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the 40 individual listeners means that 40 people have at least listened to, I think it's um, an hour of our content and are not the same person, Fantastic. if that makes sense. So there's... And, and it's not done by device. It's done by person because yeah. obviously you have to log into spotify which means that there are 40 people that, that have done that um and the, obviously 16 spotify followers is similar to youtube that means there's 16 people that are actually so what you're saying is on on spotify Sorry. we have managed to mm-hmm. keep people engaged for at least an hour that's superb yes 
an 40 hour people have listened to at least an hour of podcast. Now, does it sound a lot considering we've probably recorded 24 hours worth of podcasts? But I'll take it. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and I know that I've been secretly pushing it every now and then at work. Which no, no, I don't, no, <laughs> no, I don't, don't mind that. To, no, no, it's, like, every it's, now and then no, it's fine. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. <laughs> it's because, unfortunately, I've got this ridiculous mic <laughs> that I also use for work. You don't use yours for That's work. <laughs> Maybe you should. Nah. No, because I've got... i no, I tell you why. <laughs> so I would, actually... But I'd have to mm. have these on all the time, and it makes these make my ears sweat. And then I have to have this whole setup, which is <laughs> difficult to do on the. I've got the stand-up mm. table converter, haven't I? So I couldn't fit everything on there. Mm. It'd be too cramped. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, why have you suddenly yeah, got that? I'm gonna have oh, to wear my distinct and jovial uh, hoodie when it, it gets a bit cooler. Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 not now. <laughs> well, yeah, not after now. this week, I don't. <laughs> but, but definitely yeah. at some point, you know, this weather's going to change. This is. Uh, I need it to hang around <laughs> I think it for will. two more Actually, weeks. To be fair, I think it will. I think it'll be a half decent temperature for a few weeks. Yeah, and then come September, we'll be like, oh, I wish we had that yeah. heat wave. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be to be honest, fair like enough. September can kind of do yeah. what it wants. Just give me a nice August, and I will be. I will be happy. And um, so will about, I don't know how many be, million other fine. parents. <laughs> I've just read your notes now, Jerry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> You're going to have to read it out. So yeah. you need to get a tattoo of someone tattooing a slice of pizza with pineapple on your arm. So on that tattoo, there will be a tattoo of someone tattooing a slice of pizza on your arm. And then if you're to look really closely at that tattoo within the tattoo, you'll then see a tattoo of someone doing the same. They'll be tattooing a slice of pizza to a mirror. It's, it's yeah. like when you hold up a yeah. mirror so to I, like I, a I changing room. I think you should room. do that and, yeah. and challenge the tattoo artist to see how many... How many <laughs> images down he can get, he or she can get. That'd be awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, the the guest that we've got coming up, he would be the type of person that would actually <laughs> well, there get you go. that. I think we should suggest it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, to him, maybe. I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't that. think that would be my first choice of tattoo, to be fair. <laughs> it would be mine. It would be. It would be your last well, choice. No. But you'd 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 be the type of you'd be the type of person that would have like the pineapple on pizza and then you'd yes. get like that big like red like cross like red yes, circle with a really cross to it. No <laughs> No fruit in food. You have, like all the like, different pictures of fruit. Pears, apples, strawberries. Yeah. Just with a big light yeah. <laughs> no fruit. No. Yeah. <laughs> get the raisins out of me, yeah. Curry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the one question I did ask around these subscribers and the stats, I said, we've, we, we had a lot of interaction and I put, do you think it has reduced? I, I suppose my question to you is, has it reduced for you? Do you still get friends texting um, and, and commenting on it? Ironically, not as much. So the more I tell people about it and I have actually mm. in the last, I'd say six months, I've told quite a few people about it, friends and family and <laughs> there hasn't really been that much of an uptake. So, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe that's part of the, the Spotify and, you know, so, but, but I haven't been getting much feedback. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I've, I think we're getting consistent listeners, but I, I've definitely got a little bit less feedback and that's not, by the way, friends, that's not to say, please give, you know, you must give us feedback and stuff like that. I, I think that's the bit, not that I miss, but I, I'm very much, uh, I mean, the jobs that we're working, we're very much people that will, that like feedback yeah. to know how we can improve it um but I, I, when we come on to like the goals and stuff that we want to do um it would be nice you know to to, to be able to kind of achieve those and some of them need a little bit of interaction i think which would be quite cool um i get regular i got i get regular interaction because my oh, mum takes notes her. and then 
and tells me about them. Um, she's, so, she's dedicated, which is, which is really good. Like, yeah. Um, normally, yeah. No, no, normally, yeah. Normally, to, to say, <laughs> I remember, what are you talking about, my driving, or something like that? <laughs> but my mum is, is brilliant. And I think, I, I think what I found is people are mm. listening to it at different times. So when we started, people were listening to it like immediately. Whereas now, I'll get comments from people and they'll be like, and it'll be like, I don't know, 12 yeah, days into the month. Yeah. Like, I've just listened to this yeah. podcast. So I've got I've a friend of mine this. that used to, he couldn't wait for the next, you know, it's like, oh, when is it coming out in the first? Yeah, it's coming out in the first. Mm. Um, but then he didn't listen to yeah. it for a while. And then he went and had an operation and he downloaded all of the episodes that he, that he hadn't listened to. And then he messaged me when I was, you know, I messaged him to see how he's doing. Yeah. And he messaged me back saying, yeah, there were moments where I was really laughing. And then other moments where I was, I was just like, what? How can you, you know, I don't, whatever it was, it was like, you know, whether it's pineapple on pizza or whatever, you know, he's thinking he really disagreed with what, what was being said. Um, but that's the whole point of it, isn't it? You want that reaction. So, yeah. 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 I, I want people to tell me that they have a difference of opinion to me. Not so I can be like, you're wrong, um, except for certain things that you are wrong. But. My, my, the point being is to get like that different perspective. And I think we wanted to start this podcast purely to say, hey, if we make, I, I would go down the Robin Williams type thing. If I yeah, made someone exactly. smile today, not a sarcastic yeah. thumbs up, full thumbs up. I've done my job. I'm, I, I, I just wanted to make this world a little bit better. Um, better. Um, and in a, in a sense, because, it, you know, it's rough. So. You know, and anyway, you can always change the perspective. Going, so, so you yeah. don't have to say to people, no, sorry, you're wrong. You just say, no, I'm right. <laughs> yeah, hashtag just saying. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> hashtag just saying, yes. Yes. I love our internal jokes. It's great. It's great. Uh, so what do you think the goal for subscribers should be? So uh, we had two goals. Uh, and and I've just mentioned one. Your goal was just to bring, you. You even said in the podcast yeah. you wanted to just bring a smile to people's faces. And I think hashtag smashed hashtag it. Great. <laughs> and I said, I said ten subscribers. Preference would be Spotify. Yeah, that's fantastic. We've got sixteen and twenty one yeah. on YouTube. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, and and I read. So we we have had some really positive feedback. Which I uh, thank you by the way to everybody. Um, and my favorite, my favorite interaction has been with, with Samwise, when she said, you're giving, you're, you're getting me, you're getting me weird looks because I keep laughing out loud while listening Excellent. to your podcast and I'm sat See, on that's, the bus. And that for me, that ticks that box of, um, you know, bringing a smile to people's faces. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even we've brought a smile to the person listening in this case, Samwise and to exactly. everybody that's witnessing Samwise giggling. There you go. Spreading the love. And for me, right, for me, even if the person that I'm making smile is you, Jerry, by commenting on the different alternatives to Benedict Cumberbatch's name or telling you my life were right boring. <laughs> that to me I mean, is... Uh, yeah, it is job done. And that's the thing. Job that done. I know how much we're going to laugh. We laugh every episode. So I, that's what I look forward to as well. Yeah, it's classic. Mm. We 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 haven't, or at least we've not had the feedback that we've made someone laugh so hard that they feed themselves. But that was your quote that you said to me. That was what you, my challenge, yep. your challenge and, from you to me and, was. And I put note in for, for between now and next year. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to see if we can get anyone close to doing a number two <laughs> through laughter. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. Or or my favourite word Ralph. from you, which is, yes, can we get him to rap? Ralph. <laughs> Any, any, yeah. What, proper like laughing, belly so, so laughing, yeah, laughing like to the point where you then ache, start huh? coughing, then you start choking, and then you Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool a goal people. for next year. I just, I just love, Ralph. I just love the way that you go Ralph. That's a, that's a Kiwi thing. <laughs> I learned that from a Kiwi. <laughs> yeah. When I, I worked with, with uh, someone who's from New Zealand, and she used to always say, <laughs> Ralph. And the first time I heard it, she said, oh, yeah, that, <laughs> I tried that. That's going to make me Ralph. And I thought, Ralph? 
what? What are you <laughs> talking about? It's a name. Yeah, like, no, no, Ralph. Everyone says it in New Zealand. Ralph. So, okay. I just thought it was hilarious. I've used it ever since. I suppose it's similar to us kind of going, and, and normally it's when you're going out drinking, you're going to go, I'm going for a tactical chunder. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> have you, have no. you heard of that one? <laughs> you what, never the, the, heard the, of that. <laughs> going for a tactical chunder. <laughs> That, that was what it was in university. Although I, I've, I'm not a person to, to go and be sick for that, but yeah, it would be. It'd be quite often we're at pre-drinks, and they'd be like, right, "I'm going for a tactical ch- ch- t- 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 so we can go out to nice. the pub." Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, welcome to university. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so our goals next time is to make some. I think we'll we'll we'll, we'll do sensible. We want belly laugh. We want a proper belly yeah. laugh, and for some yeah, to go, I two found that hilarious. <laughs> just yeah, a belly laugh will one. do. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Oh dear. Uh, so well, we well, then yeah. wanted to st- well, there, there, the 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 the, the, the question. Wow, rewind. I'm doing good as a compare here, Jeriana. The <laughs> rewind. Um. Describe our podcast in the next year, um, and I've put, I want it to feel like the same as the first podcast, and you put, was really nervous, but listened to the whole podcast back, um, and and to have a guest throughout the thing. Yeah, and completely smashed hashtag that. Hashtag smashed it! <laughs> I was, so, because we haven't recorded this podcast, it's interesting, because we haven't recorded this podcast for a um, a month and a half. I was actually as no. Ner- I'm, I'm at the beginning really? of this. I was as nervous as I was for the first podcast for this one because yeah, because I felt rusty. I felt rusty, and I and we did these. Um, we did these. I did these notes last night, and normally I'm like a month ahead, but it, it, things have been absolutely mental that I've, I've just not had the brain capacity, and I, something broke in me a couple of weeks ago, which I'll go into. Um, so. You know, really? I was actually, it did feel like the first podcast because I was like, I'm quite nervous. I was so looking forward yeah. to it. I couldn't wait. I was just like, come on, come on. But yeah, no nerves. No nerves at all. Yeah, oh looking God. forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. I, they've gone. I'm feeling back into, a little bit into my flow, although I'm <laughs> yeah, a little bit nervous don't, about don't, our technology. Don't, don't which, mention technology. You know, it's fine. It's I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going fi- to go fire a few emails off like tomorrow and, and say, you know, Dear sir to or get madam, them to help me test to make it sure that it is. To have to send um, you a strongly so, worded email. I hope this email finds yeah. you well. You have to. Well, it's it's interesting because it, it never does. So the, the the company that built my computer, which I got built a few months ago, and where I think I've got a graphics card issue. My oh, do you know what my only issue is? <laughs> For some strange reason, they spell my name wrong every time. Right? It's D. They put D O M O N I C. I don't know why, because my name is written in my email signature it's not like your name's correctly. Benedict Cumberbatch, is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I can understand because I know really? somebody who has their name spelt that way. Domo Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domo Nick. Domo Nick. Yeah, Domo Nick what? rather than Domo Nick. That. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think it's just dependent where you go. So I think. My name is a little bit There's more French origin, and the, I think potentially the other way of spelling it. No, I think the other way might be um, translated from Cyrillic, so it's probably possibly Russian or something like that, um, depending on where you Bear come from. But yeah, um, I could be wrong on that, but that's what... Yeah, we've got the internet. Well, I don't want to open up any I more tabs. So I don't want to break anything. Thought, yeah, that'll do. You had me at Domino's. <laughs> Give me the pizza. <laughs> yeah, look. Give me the pizza. There's quite a few Domonics. Domonics, actually. Okay. Mm. Okay. Get my coat. Interesting. But yeah, it's um yeah, that's like my only beef of a missus. Can you just spell my name right? City. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> 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 oh dear 
Eggs Benedict. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've managed to get... So we had two guests, uh, the wonderful Laura and the brilliant Adam, um, who I actually see do? both at the weekend, because um, okay? it's a Taekwondo Very thing. Good. Yeah. Very well. Well, I think... I think so... Uh, Laura's moved new job and then had COVID, so okay. okay-ish, I think, is the term. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, I mean, Adam, that we were a little bit stressed because Adam was supposed to be staying at Laura's, but then <laughs> quick arrange a hotel, quick. <laughs> it was fine. We all sorted. All good. It's <laughs> all good. Um, the thing I would say is, obviously, yes, we've we got do. we've got a guest planned. Um, <laughs> oh, are you lie. looking at more Benedict Cumberbatch names? No, because I just. I closed down that tab and it went straight to the other tab, which I had open, and I saw Benny Boop Cumberbop. <laughs> and I thought, right, I've got to stop this now. I'm going to have to stop this. So I'm not looking anymore. <laughs> Another note for you, just completely off tangent. Uh, you need to go and look at Benedict Cumberbatch uh, pronouncing <laughs> penguins. I'll make, a note. I'll, make a, I'll make a note of that. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, there's a Graham Norton okay. uh, like thing as well about it. Okay, I've actually made a note. Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, so yeah, we said yeah, we said we we're going to have one guest. We've got another guest coming up. Yes, uh, yeah, planned. it is. I think it's next yeah. month, which is going to be quite cool. Uh, which I'm really looking forward to, um, and going to have a really good themed one for that. And then we're going to be doing um, the conspiracy theory one with yourself, yeah. Jerry, going through all your. History, cool. so I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, and just to say, the rock. I still haven't seen Face Off. You haven't seen off. The Rock either, have you? <laughs> <sighs> no, I haven't seen The Rock. No. Oh, actually, Predator. What, Predator what is it that I have oh, seen that... What? No, I haven't seen that either. <laughs> okay, in order of priority, <laughs> your Predator, right? <laughs> then, actually, then I'll say The Rock, then Face Off. That's that's the order I'd put it in, but definitely Predators number one. Okay. I can't believe you haven't watched that. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think of the film because there's loads because there's loads of films that I haven't watched that always disgraces people. Um, what what have I seen this year that that you were encouraging me on at work on the workshop? Oh, Top Gun. <sighs> well, that's I've now seen Top Gun. Yes, I have seen it because I watched what? them both. I watched them both. And my first exclamation is, why the yes. heck are they so sweaty in the original? It's global They're just warming. sweaty all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get on to that in a bit. Uh, and then there was a bit around our... Oh, we were talking about chat rooms. I don't have the... Um, I don't have uh, Archbishop <laughs> of Bantery chat room anymore. It's not called that. I like it. It's called the, it's called the Bottle of Banter. Um, and then ours oh, is it's, um, oh god, what's our chat room that we've got to work? Is it a banter ram? Is it banter rang? No, I think it's banter rang. I don't think it is. Is it? Oh, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I think it is. It's a bit of a weak one. I'm going to change that. I think tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Probably to the banter source Rex. <laughs> no, no, it's not <laughs> actually that bad. Uh, oh, throw me a bantarang. That's what it is. Throw me a ba- no, throwing a bantram. Throwing a bantram. Oh, that's it. Yeah, throwing a bantram. I like that. Yes, I think that's quite that's strong. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's stronger than the one I originally just came up with. Um, but it may it may I may still change it to Bantosaurus Rex because then I can put a dinosaur uh, emoji at the front of our chat room. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I do a very gay T Rex with with my floppy hands. Very camp, I should say. Sorry, PC. Apologies. <laughs> don't. I actually You've don't. got no words for that. It's rare that I'm lost for words. I'm actually lost for words. Uh. <laughs> right. Uh, then it was on to the. Like life ones, I suppose we did these. <laughs> questions. Oh, we've got quite a lot of po- like questions to go through. Still, Jesus. Ugh. Um, 
First thing you did when you woke up this morning, Jerry, you've got a new so uh, I wake regime. up at six AM now, I go through a whole beauty routine, mm. sort out my hair so that it's immaculate, and then I pretend to wake up at eight AM and take selfies for Instagram. Actually that's not true. <laughs> I still hit snooze. <laughs> go back to sleep. Because every second counts. <laughs> no. No. Is that a call out no, for I just, anybody? I just find it funny that <laughs> I don't know if you, if you the whole thing around Instagram and things where people try to make it look like it's natural, but you know it's just so not. It's 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 a weird subculture. <laughs> Instagram yeah. is a weird subculture, isn't it? It is. It is. It's it's interesting. So this is where I think my first. I'm going to call it rant, but it's probably not a rant. It's probably just an explanation. Um, because I put that I still get up and I go on social media. And actually, a little bit less, but that's mainly because I've downloaded a game on my phone. It's an idle game, so it only, you, know, it, you only need to interact with it for a little bit. And it, and it just helps okay. me to just go, I'll do that instead of jumping on Instagram. But I have followed a few more people, and there's been an interesting kind of conversation that I've had with somebody, rec- with a few people recently, um, and they were talking about how a lot of the population is seems to be exhibiting ADHD and or, and uh, symptoms, or kind of appears to be on the um, autistic spectrum. Um, which my current understanding, and please correct me if I'm wrong. And this is what I love about the podcast is I can say stupid things, and people will go, "You were wrong." Oh, okay, I'll learn something. Um, but. You know, as well as social media affecting kind of our mental health, which is terrible, and I'm willing to go into that in a little bit. But the the interesting bit about it is that, as well as like ADHD becoming like a genetic factor, it's likely becoming an environmental factor. So you're you're garnering those symptoms through the environment because these days, Instagram, TikTok, you know, they're sixty second videos. You're like. That doesn't please me. That doesn't please me. That doesn't. It's. Um, I'm going to mention his name, but nobody have comments. It's actually Fraser. I had an hour and a half conversation with him uh, in the office yesterday um, about it, um, and we're talking about like the way that the brain works is that it it it, it looks for the well one of one, one of the, the brain gets very addicted to chemicals, so dopamine being one of them. And people say it's the happy drug, and it's not quite the happy drug. It produces a happy feeling, but it doesn't necessarily appear when you're happy. Um, and it's why social media can be compared to gambling is because you you can flick through these videos and go, that was okay, that was okay. And then every now and then you get a good one and you go, oh, that was really good, really enjoyed that. And, you, and your brain goes, oh, dopamine, right? And then, then you continue, then you scroll and then you scroll. And that's why you can scroll on social media for hours because every now and then you get a good one and your body is just looking for that really God. quick fix of that's dopamine. It's like a drug. Yeah, it is like a drug. And you body comes addicted to yeah it's it's exactly the same symptom it's exactly sorry it's exactly the same brain kind of um bits that light up on your brain as when you're gambling on a slot machine because you pull it nothing pull it nothing pull it nothing pull it all you win big hit of dopamine and that's why you get addicted and that's why like being addicted to gambling is a genuine thing because what you're actually addicted to is the dopamine that your body's releasing um and interestingly i would absolutely love to get rid of all my social media as it wasn't it ironically if it wasn't for this podcast which i try and advertise um and because i would just lose connection to a load of people um and i you know made a bunch of new people i met a new people at the at the last taekwondo thing that i did that i now follow on instagram and which is really good and um had some really good times but what i wish on instagram is i wish i could just turn off that search function so i only see friends I didn't have to then scroll through the endless bits where because all my friends that I follow or people I follow on Instagram, because most of them do Taekwondo and they're seriously fit, all of my social media is then filled with, you know, really super stacked people, which I'd love to be, but I'm not because I like cake um, and alcohol that it, it, you know, and then it, and then it does the opposite. So I'm like, oh, they're really interesting. But then I think I'm not like that. So then you've got like that ADHD bit, along with the bit that makes you feel depressed, as long as and then with all these environmental factors. So yeah, I would 
I'd love to say that I'm different from where I was last year with like not scrolling social media, but I absolutely still do. Um, and the only way that I've managed to reduce it is I had to download a game, which <laughs> does my other addictive thing. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, just so we're both just still as bad as we were last year. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the way to yeah, do I it. Maybe admit, I should to turn the internet off in the morning. What do I do in the morning? I must admit, once I've actually kind of got up and I'm making a cup of coffee... Once I've fed Larry and I'm making a cup of coffee, I'll be I'll, I'll look through BBC and I'll do Wordle. I'm a bit I'm addicted to Wordle. Love it, yeah, love mm. a bit of Wordle. Ooh, All okay. those dates was just ah, oh, it was horrendous. Oh, I'm not a words man. There were no vowels in the <laughs> word. Right, so get your head around that one. I literally. Oh. How can there be no vowels in the word? Yeah, uh, yes, there was. Uh, was yeah. there, I assume there was a Y. You got the fake vowel. Yes, but so you've got the fake vowel. It's disconcerting when you you get to like the third mm. line and think, okay, there really are no, yeah, there are no vowels in this. I've done A E I O U. I have no idea what the hell this is. So I just, yeah. Anyway, but but love a bit of word. Limey O'Reilly. Yeah, and uh, and. Uh, I want to be at the stage where I, you know, you always want to be at the stage where you leap out of bed like a gazelle. I'm like, I'm ready for the day. Whereas it's not. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm going to the gym and I'm uh, like, and stuff hurts and I'm hungry and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but I just wish to reduce my social media content. Uh, but in, I, I think I've mentioned it before. So my manager who, who you know, she yes, has got, she won't go on the news. That. Yes. Um, and she said that it's lowered her heart rate yeah. by like 10 an average of yeah, 10. I think that's a really good move. Five, one of the two. Definitely. Yeah. So I want to, I need to, like, maybe I need to set something up, just blocks Reddit, blocks BBC, any news site. Yeah, it might be. Might be the way to go forward then to improve the first thing I do, first thing you did when you woke up in the morning. Um, today was a little bit better, but that's because I was going into the office and I was at five to eight, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was a shit. <laughs> oh dear. Technology that blows your mind. Uh, so last time you said Wi Fi. Well, At the is, moment, your Wi Fi is not blowing your mind because it's. <laughs> oh, it's shocking. Oh, I, I, so, which, yeah, this this leads me on to one I'm of pre- the. It just yeah, it just leads me on to the p- point that I made in the notes. We're not making progress, Dom. You know, if you can loop this back to yeah. the type type one civilization and whatever you want to talk about, we're not making progress. <laughs> type type six. No, it's because I, I wrote that down. I said, "Do you think technology has slowed down?" And I was like, "Because in the last year, I can't think of anything well, significant, any significant steps." That yeah, we're... so. Even in the last five years. Because that's another... Mm. Yeah, I... You know... Because I, I know you've know. mentioned it before. It's just like... It It just seems to nowadays, when it comes to technology, it's it's all sizzle, but there's no sausage. So... um, Yeah, it's all sizzle, mm. no sausage. So they, they make that. a big that's thing. Oh, you know, yeah, now it's... You had 4G, now you've got 5G. But you go on your mobile, it's no bloody different. Nothing nothing downloads any faster. It doesn't connect any faster. No. It doesn't do anything. You just go, there's no fucking difference between 4G and 5G. This is just shite. What what difference does it make? <laughs> Wi Fi never gets any better. They always say, Oh yeah, you know, yeah. if you if you go for with you know for, with us you get minimum of I don't know how many megabytes. But my Wi Fi speeds now are no different to what they were twenty years ago. And yet I'm supposed to get, I've, I've got, I'm fibre and it's like, this, no. is, this is rubbish. It's nonsense. Have you, have you heard the, have you heard the advert for um, Kevin Bacon for EE, like fibre broadband by BT? They're like, you know, do a hundred like updates at the same time, have a hundred friends around and play video games. <laughs> right. And then they do the T's and C's, right? Uh, you might have seen it on, in the cinema or you might have heard it, right? If you look at the T's and C's, 18, 1, 8% coverage in the UK. 
<laughs> to get that. And you're like, yeah. This are you is, allowed to advertise? Is that because they, they also if you do can, that thing? Say, I oh, suppose, look, you know, we're going to set up an air traffic control system in someone's house so you can land a plane using the broadband. And you kind of go, all oh, right, okay, mate. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, nice one. Yeah, mate. you try that. And this, yes, that's the that advert. Now, that's the advert. Yeah, we'd have a disaster on our hands. Yeah, well, no, the, the, they probably can, but the the the, the, the yeah. small print says that only eighteen eighteen percent of the co- country could get it. Nineteen <laughs> percent, yeah. And okay, in six so years' time, rubbish. it'll be nineteen percent. That's the difference. Are there? There's nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No. It, it, it's. And and interesting, the bit that I said that blew my well, mind last time was was Bitcoin. That was inevitable. And, well, that I mean, that I, market I'm crashed, sorry, didn't but, it? Tesla, Tesla have sold everything. Oh, I didn't sold know all that. their Bitcoin. That was that. the news this week for it. And, and yeah, yeah. And I, I got into it a little bit for a couple of months, and then I realised that my credit card company was charging me an extra five pound for every transaction. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So let me just pause that. And then I didn't trust it enough to give them my yeah. actual bank details. How about no? I was like, <laughs> not, not quite there. <laughs> Yeah, but no. <laughs> so, yeah, and so I, I kind of pulled myself away from it and out. And then I'm very glad because I came yeah. in when it was at its peak. So it was really expensive. So I would have just lost. Okay, I would have lost maybe 100 quid because I didn't put much in. But yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's technology that did blow my mind. It's technology that I, don't, I still don't understand. But it's Sorry. now technology so, that so I'm less So if you're less bothered, bothered about it, it about. becomes meaningless. Then it's just meaningless isn't it mm. yes so i don't really think can't really think of anything that blows my mind at the moment i think wow um i do like all the space stuff yeah actually, um, to be, I like yeah, the, to be the, fair the telescope the james webb telescope oh, I I think that's pretty cool that's pretty cool yes sir. yeah 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 that would be i was really going to pick something that i go wow i like that um i I am the type of person that currently has rocket ships on his socks because I'm go. a massive fan of space, but that's, <laughs> that's good. What is the most important right na- most important to you right now? And we kind of, you know, I think you put it last time in the podcast beyond yeah. family, friends, And I think, so right now, it's definitely this podcast because I just love it. And it's, it, it's kind of like an, it's an anchor for me. It's a, it's a mm. constant, it's something steady and it, it, it gives my life meaning. Um, but work life balance, uh, trying to maintain positivity. <laughs> so the whole mental health thing, cause it has been a difficult year, uh, and staying patient for the release of John week four. That's, that's the most important thing I am, but I finished recording it ages Aren't ago. Aren't you in that one? <laughs> No, I can no, hear you. I don't know if you can't hear me. I can, yeah, I can hear you. You've frozen me back? again. Woo. Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. Yes, no, I didn't lose you. I didn't lose you at all, though. That's good. Um, yeah, you're back. Yeah, I recorded it, we're but back. they're not releasing it until next year. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're, a, you, yeah, I'm you're, you're Keanu line. Reeves' yeah. sixth stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> the younger version. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm actually really looking forward to that film. Uh, I, I've, they've not made a bad one yet. I think I really like your like work-life balance one and trying to... I, I'm less worried about the trying to main, po- maintain positivity um, because I've in the line of work that we're both in where I'm, I'm getting quite good at putting on a facade, whereas I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not trying to force myself to be positive. I, sometimes I just put on a facade I, and sometimes I'm quite yeah. happy to go... Actually, do you know what? I'm yeah. feeling a no, bit rubbish I'm, today. For me, it's it's both inside and outside of work. I think it's just... I think for me, it's about just doing the same thing day in, day out that I've been doing for decades now. And I just think, okay, I can't see the light mm. at the end of the tunnel with this at the moment. So... Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 interesting because I've put like reclaiming my health. So, uh, yeah, I got sick 
like it's really annoying i've got like i picked up some virus so i can go into the details some subclinical virus which means it only it's not exhibiting any symptoms normally it only when i go and like try and train which for those that know me i try and train like an athlete so that kind of is a bit of a dampener on things um which is it's frustrating so i'm looking forward to kind of claiming that and and it because i've been because i've been so like tired and I, it's like i get get you know i stop work and i'm literally like going to bed and getting up going to the gym and then work and i was just in that routine like this podcast mm. actually to a certain extent had kind of fallen behind so for you'll notice there hasn't been any clips this month um purely because i didn't have time to create any and and it didn't feel right I, it felt like it felt good to take a little bit of a gap and a yeah. break so that you know if this one they'll be back to clips and things like that um so i wanted to kind of go i really want to accelerate this podcast and go like right what what can i do to improve some of the stuff that we're putting on and and, and bits and pieces like that and you know our conversations here they still flow perfectly freely and i'm really happy with how they go it's just about yeah, how yeah. we can then like make sure the topics are really good and we've got some really good guests and 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 stuff like that and it and you're right like we said earlier on the podcast this week for me has been like you know waking up on waking up at two o'clock in the morning on well tuesday night uh so wednesday morning and being like oh my god it's so hot but oh yeah, i've got the podcast definitely. on friday so definitely. it's like you know it's it's been that anchor it for has this for week me. to kind of get through um yeah uh so that's kind of my uh, i'm really i'm going to be really intrigued to look back this time next year when we do the vanity fair and go what was the most important and go did we manage to you know even if we didn't you know did we manage to be consistent with the podcast did we you know make some you know make people happy and stuff like that you know did i manage to <laughs> yeah, my if they don't has john wick 4 actually been released by this poster that's going to scupper that and then oh, now we have to push it back another six months no yeah 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 no but also i think for, for your type of things i think we've there might be a, f yes. a few things that actually get put into action for both of us in the next Ye year um that could could change yes a little bit yeah, you know I've got, I've got something that's potentially quite big and, yeah and work, you have as well, well yeah work for me work which we, not, yeah. we can't go yeah. into but yeah for you work wise yeah uh and I'll, i you know i've got some you know big taekwondo goals for the next kind of year which you know could put things in a real different light you know on depending on if i achieved them so it could be quite interesting to read i'm really this reflection podcast good for, timing as well. for me this week has been kind of a, again like yeah. i said a savior so yeah good timing yeah because I put on this talking about my rough June and July, like work at the moment is probably no more stressful than it has been. I thought there was something. Oh, like... did I put this also later? Cause I don't want to go into this. Yeah. No, I put this. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's a little bit, there's a little bit later on, which I'm, I'm going to go into it on the last question, right? Uh, a little bit. So I'll come back to kind of the stress that, that is of the world at the moment. Where would you like to visit next year? Uh, you put Mallorca and Amsterdam, and I was hoping to do. No, a I went to Madeira. Trip. So, so I, I ended up just you going went to, to Mallorca. Yeah, you didn't. Where did June, you go? We went to Madeira, uh, and that's that's the only place we've gone. So I'd, I'd still, I still want to go yeah. back to Amsterdam. So fingers crossed, come September, October, we can go back to Amsterdam. Um, mm. And then I just put more local places that I've also been to, <laughs> like Bournemouth, Southampton, Milford on Sea. Um, <laughs> oh, it's literally two miles. Milford, where is Milford on sea? That way. I, I, I can just cycle there, <laughs> uh, but it's a holiday destination. Okay, so. um, but yeah, you, you're <laughs> the, the thing that I, I really, I really feel for you is we've been talking about that career trip for two years now, three years. God, it's been three. Yeah, three years flipping. Three right, years. Tom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 2019. Mm. So, I mean, on the good side, I've oh, officially it's had it. It's not going ahead, right? I'm not in limbo. Oh, I didn't um, know, and I, I got didn't know that. totally... Yeah, no, I've officially had that. It's now not going ahead. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so, and I mean, I got totally screwed over by the insurance that I got. And that's a whole, that could be a whole podcast in itself, me describing the complete fast that the insurance that I picked. But none of us could have predicted the pandemic. So, you know, it was half my fault for not reading perhaps it in detail. But I did manage to get my flight money back. So uh, a nice 780 quid injection into my bank account this month was very, was very, was very nice. So, um, yeah, it was. It's it's kind of raised my funds yeah, actually this month quite a lot because that's just pure yeah. because I've not planned for it. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I was put in X amount. That's yeah, just pure really. profit. So that's pure profit, even though I've already paid it out. If you know what I mean, but that was already taken into consideration. So, um, but yeah, I officially got the last month shame. that it's not going ahead. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and and also I got uh, you know my flight to Holland this year was cancelled yeah. because, god damn it, we've had that rant that was last month, um, but managed Spain and Germany and I've got Slovenia later this year so, um, and both Spain and Germany were non taekwondo things so they were actual holidays that I actually got to to do things on, um, Spain was was a stag do but actually went and saw a load of tourist stuff and down to the beach and wander around um warning for <laughs> anyone that decides to go to spain there are literally zero public bathrooms you have to go into restaurants and buy things um and then germany was for um a wedding well for samwise's wedding specifically uh, which was wonderful and brilliant and fantastic and uh germany is completely opposite in terms of public bathrooms they're bloody everywhere <laughs> <laughs> all sign posted <laughs> yeah pretty much like, well you can fall into one because one of anyway as i was saying um yeah uh you can you got the sign for the 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 the, 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 the wc and it just kind of it points downwards um so uh and you kind of go oh yeah to there's middle a middle earth there's a there's a bunch of stairs <laughs> to middle earth yeah that might to be. middle earth um <laughs> so yeah um and then where would i visit next year I, I haven't got anywhere planned uh, because there's no big Taekwondo events next year. So um, I'm free to make that decision, I think. Milford on sea. <laughs> well, uh, I need to come down to, to yours at some point, don't I? I you do. Yeah, you do. You need to come over. We need to get that barbecue fired up. Yes. It's got to be done. Get the meat sweats. <laughs> get the meat sweats. I need to meet Larry. And we'll do some... <laughs> Yeah, you need to meet Larry. We'll do some. We'll do some taekwondo sparring in the garden. <laughs> Actually, no, we won't. Get your keys um, out. Yeah, yeah. Go windmilling in. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that that would be fantastic, Dom. Mm. Yeah, we need to sort that out. Definitely. Um, and I don't know if you've got any. You or you just said you've got Amsterdam potentially planned, but I don't know if you've got anything else. Yeah, hoping hoping we can do that later this year. We'll see. Mm. That'd be good. But yeah, next year, I don't know. don't know what the plans are, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm, one thing I will say is um, I am becoming less and less tolerant of the whole process of travelling. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. One for a, for a separate podcast and a different rant, but it's, it's bloody hell, it's hard work. Mm. Um, you, you, you kind of feel that you kind of lose the will by the time you even just get to Gatwick <laughs> um, and just think, oh, you know, and it's great. Once you're out there, you forget about all of that. But then I hate the whole thing about coming back. Yeah. I hate having to pack and come back. And it's just, it's such a horrible feeling. It's almost worth not going on holiday Yeah, to not ha go through that feeling. If that makes sense. Sounds a bit melodramatic, but I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I know, I know, I know what you mean, and yeah. you know, even so, you know, if I take, you know, I went up to Newcastle, and uh, like, I drove in like three stages up to my parents, up to a hotel in just north of Leicester, and then up to Newcastle, um, and it was, which is fine, but then I was away for five, for five nights, and it's like, <laughs> so I needed like, you know, five sets of clothes and. Um, you know, you need all your toothbrush and stuff. And okay, cars are a little bit easier because I just dump it all in the car and it's in the boot and I can get it. Um, but even then, getting you know, when I got to to Newcastle, it was a bit like, oh god, I got to, do, 
you know, find somewhere to park, which, you know, I'm very beneficial that Lauren was able to, to give me a parking space. And um, then there was a load of other, oh, just, just it, it's effort. Like there's a lot of effort to actually get it's to places. And, yeah, it's a lot of effort. you know, Adam went up there as well and he flew. And I was like, yeah, but do you need to get to the airport still two hours early? And then you've got to travel over to the airport and then you've got to get away from the airport to the way you're going. And, and I was just like, yeah, just, there must be a way to make things easier. <laughs> You need you need that kind of teleportation <laughs> yes. machine that they use in Star Trek is what you need. Yes. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm going in. Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. Break me apart here and reassemble my atoms yeah. up in Newcastle. Please. Absolutely. Yeah, please. I need yeah. that. <laughs> Interestingly, I've just realized that because I was the host and it killed my PC, I don't know how long we've now been recording. I don't know what it says on your side. Oh, I do. One one hour, 17 minutes. Ah, okay. So mine says four. <laughs> so fingers crossed yeah. stuff isn't... I know I know we've gone melty clocks, but it's not that bad. Yeah. God, we're having... <laughs> we, we'd, we'd, God, we're having a, a, an awful... Uh, what should we call it? Uh, like <laughs> time with the technology. Ah, having... oh, it's a tech mare tonight. Yeah. Tech mare. Might have to switch to my work laptop to record these in future, just until this like, computer's <laughs> fixed. Um, the other thing I noticed is uh, that on, on this question is I did mention about uh, vlogging some of the stuff. And obviously, I didn't get to go to Korea, so I couldn't vlog it. And I wasn't really going to vlog yeah. you know, th- those things. But I did get my YouTube channel up. I've got 62 videos uploaded on my oh, personal YouTube. Hell. Yeah. I have oh, managed to fantastic. do that. Fantastic. Yeah. They're not all released. Oh. But um, I think there's still about 20 to go. Um, but I've got videos uploaded and ready to go until October. Um, and now I've got to pick a new video game to play. <laughs> Are you going to do a plug from here? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it's linked to. It's, it is uh, subscribe. It's the only channel that uh, the Distinct and Jovial YouTube channel is subscribed to. <laughs> <laughs> so that narrows it down. <laughs> yes, okay. it's the only one that you you can actually see um, on on there. So if you if you go to our our our. Um, uh, our a YouTube channel and look at the subscribers. Uh, that's the one that it's subscribed to, um, and it is connected in the channels cheekily. I was like, might as well. <laughs> hey, come on, it's the right thing to do. So, if you want to see, if you want to listen to more of my voice, which you probably don't, then you can go onto my YouTube channel. Although I don't, my voice isn't there as often. Um, so we'll, you can have a look. Uh, the next question we had is: If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Um, <laughs> and we went into this because we went over the boots advert where adults would normally say, oh, I want to, you know, make my nose smaller. And kids would go, yeah, but I want wings. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was, trying to, I was trying to remember the context of that. Yeah. yeah okay. You just answered my question. <laughs> right. Wings and big feet. <laughs> yeah, that, that was your last bit. <laughs> I, so I deliberately put, because you were going, oh, oh God, I want yeah, to. I and, <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, it's all come back to me now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I read it I read it earlier today and went, what? Yeah, it just says wings and wings big feet. And, wings and big feet? What the hell is that all about? Yeah. Yeah, get it now. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> and and uh, I suppose... <laughs> we... <laughs> I suppose your, what, your one you, you've put down, what you would change about you now. I just, I thought, I mean, with the age that I'm at, it's too late. Like I say, there's, there's, what would I change? Nothing. There's nothing that that, that would be worth changing. I'm I'm literally just on the scrap heap of life. I'm at the other, I'm at the other end of that, that conveyor belt of life. Yeah. Um, Thinking that I need to be shot and, and made into dog food, but... I would make myself considerably richer <laughs> so that I could just retire now before they shoot me and turn me into dog food, which is nice. Just want to retire. Oh, my dad's oh, retiring this year, this year. I'm so jealous. Is he really? Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, good Set on him. Retirement date. Um, good on him. Yeah. So he turned 60 a couple of weeks ago uh, and he's uh, officially retiring. So, And I can say that because nice. he has told his company, so it's not like anyone can nice. complain for that. Um and this is when you get the call tomorrow saying, yeah, no, I actually, so when I said I, I told them, I haven't told them. <laughs> and you go, <laughs> no, I know he has, because uh, I know the date. Right. I know the date that okay. he's set. 
Well, yeah, I was going to say, actually, to be fair, he's got until, what, the 31st of July <laughs> to tell them. <laughs> yeah. No. It's, yeah. Uh, November okay. is retiring. November. Set a date. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Good on him. Yeah. Good on him. I'm exceptionally jealous because I think, well, he's 60, so I've got another 30 years of this. <laughs> I've got another 10. Peanut butter and jealous. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> That's like just saying. Um, yeah. I mean, like for me, I would just be like, can I just discover? I want to rediscover the ability to work hard without destroying my own sanity. I either work too hard or. <laughs> I'm in well, why do you need to work hard? That was going to be my question. Why does? Why do you have to work hard? Why didn't you just? Why didn't you just put? <laughs> sit on my uh, laurels. <laughs> why didn't you just put to work? Well, no, just put. Just work. Yeah, work smart rather than work. Yeah, hard. I want to work. Yeah, work smarter rather than I'm. You know, work work harder necessarily. Um, I, I just love the quote. I'm in Spain without the P. Yeah, I love that. I <laughs> love you, that. You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Spain without the P. <laughs> oh dear. Or I'm in I'm in Spain without the A. You're in spin. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> then they play the Benny Hill theme tune. <laughs> That's normally what I'm we in think. in Spain without the N. <laughs> You're in Span? Span? Spain? Span? Spa? It nearly works. I'm in Spain without the S. You're in pain? <laughs> it works with pretty much every letter but the N, I think. I think it does. Or on the I. You're in Spain without the I? You're in Span? Span? <laughs> Span without the P. That's hilarious. <laughs> there we go. Another quote for you there, Jerry. <laughs> um, what do we want to accomplish with the podcast next year? I don't think we actually answered this, or I think we answered it as part of another previous question. Uh, like last time, at least I couldn't. Rem- I couldn't find it. I scrolled backwards and through it through the podcast. I, I can't, can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I noticed there were no notes in that. And I was thinking, I'm, I'm sure we did answer that. Yeah, but I think one thing I would love to do. I think we want to do an in-person podcast. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Got yeah. to do that. Yeah, I think that would be really cool to do. Wi-Fi will still. Technology will still mess it up. Somehow, <laughs> yeah, technology will still we'll mess do. it up. Yeah, yeah, it'll find a way. But at least we won't be reliant, hopefully, on internet. No, but it'll come up with something else. Yeah. So graphics card yet again. Yeah. Oh. You get blue screen of death. There'll be Don't jinx that. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, pretend I didn't say that. Let's just move swiftly on. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, appear on the late show with James Corden. That's ending. Actually I thought it had ended. No, that oh, it might have oh, ended, yeah. but that's ending soon. That is ending. So we have to get on there quick <laughs> to do that. Okay. No, it's I don't know if I, Joe I'll Rogan. Honest, oh, I don't know if I'd want to be on the Late Late Show with James Corden, if I'm honest. No, I'd, I'd rather go on. In fact, I'd rather go on to, um, I'd rather do a sesh with uh, Joe Rogan. Mm. <laughs> I like Joe Rogan. type of sesh with Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, I, I just, well, what, look, I'd pay good money for this because he's into his MMA and everything. So I'd like to see you and Joe Rogan sparring. He would destroy me. Do you think so? Yeah, he would. I'm not a very good sparer. He's brutal with his do. kicks. Have you seen yeah, him yeah. D- uh, kicking a heavy bag? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's scary. Yeah, yeah, I'm not that. I'm not that talented. He's <laughs> not way. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's he's good. He's um the 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 fighter. I I'm always just in awe of. Is is it Baz Rutten? Mm. This guy's a beast. Yeah, there it's are amazing. some. Really good. I, I'm. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of MMA. I think it's too brutal. Okay. And I think there is a there's an art form in the way that you do like non knockout type martial arts, like scoring points. I yeah. think that there is a better. I think it's a better system, and it's more to a certain extent more. Well, not more skilled. I think it's the wrong term, but it requires different skills, which I prefer over than the the brutality one um boxing i think is about my limit because uh, you can win without but that is quite brutal i was gonna say boxing is brutal mm. so yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's right. Um and then so our additional questions for this one, and I think but that's that's quite good, is do you think you're in a better or worse place than last year and why? And this is quite a deep question, but I wanted to put it in because I am curious about the answer. And and I'm also curious about whether you think whether you know the why. I do know the why, yeah. Do you want to go first? Oh, mine's going to turn into a rant, so. <laughs> um, yeah, mine probably not going to be a rant. I just, yeah, because I, I wouldn't know where to start with it. But I'm definitely in a worse place, I think, I, mm. on the whole. And I think that's what links in with the, um, the, the what's the most important thing to you right now? And I said, oh, trying to maintain the positivity. So that's mm. what's linked to this. The two are linked mm. on that that point because um i'm i the, the, the whole thing with with regards to coronavirus through that through a cat amongst the pigeons in terms of a uh, complacency and routine and some kind of stability and you suddenly think whoa okay that's just turned everything upside down and it was um um a real shock event and global as well and scary lots of you know there's a lot um a lot of unknowns, mm. known unknowns, unknown unknowns. Um, and don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. And somehow we navigated through it. We, we not learned to live with it. It's not the right expression, but we just somehow managed to navigate our way through this. And then just mm. as we were coming out the other side, you know, Putin decides to, I mean, what a twat. He decides <laughs> to invade Russia. Uh, inv- invade idiot. Ukraine. Uh, what am yeah. I talking about? Invade Russia. Well, it is. You might as well. You might as well just say, "Yeah, invade Russia." He's he's invading, yeah. right? So, um, you know, and and then it's just been chaos ever since. And I just think, you know, with this now, we've gone back to instability in 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 markets, soaring uh, gas prices, electricity, oil. Yeah. Um, petrol, you know, the, the whole, Jesus. you know, food price, everything, everything's just been thrown into turmoil again. We've now got high inflation. We've, got, we've literally got no stability politically, no stability <laughs> in the government whatsoever. I mean, they're just a bunch of clowns. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just think I'm just tired of it and trying. Mm-hmm. You just think, oh, fuck off. Just enough mm-hmm. is enough now. Just. Can we just live a normal life? Life is hard enough as it is anyway without having to deal with all this shit. Now, by the way, I probably sound like really spoiled and selfish and all, you know, you're talk- how you're talking, Joe, is first world problems because people with having to deal with th- things that are just horrendous and a million times worse. Mm. And I get that. But I think for the sake of everybody, just globally, for God's sakes, wouldn't in the same way that we, I don't feel that we've made any progress with regards to technology. In fact, I, I think we're going backwards. I do f- feel that we're, we're on the same path with everything else, not mm. just technology. So yes, yeah, so I'm in a worse place because I, I, yeah. I look at I look at the situation that we're in now globally. What's going on with the world, with the environment, and I just think, oh, we're, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. fucked? It it feels like this year. This year for me feels like we we went over a, a, a like a point of no return. Right. There was there was, you know, if you go back two years ago, they were talking about some of these things like, you know, some of the political turmoil, some of the some of the, um, you know, the opinions that have been spread around um, climate change, things like that. And for me, 2022 has just been that point where we're 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 beyond the point of no return. There are people that express opinions. And I always say that people don't have wrong opinions, but there are people that have wrong opinions, like people that believe you know, about abortion should not be legal. You know, the, every time I look at America and the Republicans and they go, right, we want to uh, delegalize gay marriage. We want to, you know, stop same-sex couples. It's like we are legitimately, that country is going backwards. It, uh, for, and, for and, long. yeah. And, but there are people that, but clearly there are, there are you know, a, a significant portion of humans believe in that as well to then also you know <clears throat> what's the phrase to uh you know they believe in it as well to vote these people in hmm. so as a species we must be going backwards i don't understand how we're harboring that 
that those opinions. I can't under I I can't fathom it. I cannot fathom how they can even think like that. You know, with and people always and you you know they say don't bring religion into it and 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 it's right. You know, there are there are people that 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 do believe in you know Christianity, uh, Buddhism, and things like that that are good people. I'm fully I fully believe that. There are some, there are other people that use it as an excuse to just harbour these terrible opinions that are incredibly selfish. And you always get those, you know, we discussed about calling people Karens and stuff like that, which I don't like. Um, um, but, you know, you discuss these people that are just, you know, the, the entitlement and, and, and elements of like that. And we probably come a little bit entitled over this podcast, which is what I don't want to do. I'm really trying not want to do. But, but legitimately... I think we're at a point now where so many people harbour these selfish relation uh, re- thoughts and feelings because of our environments, so social media and 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 you know jealousy with within that 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 it brings these on, and we're we're pushing further down that way. That I don't. I think we're at a point of no return. I think we're at that point where the human species have a potential to just self destruct. Um, just bring on these like more and more terrible opinions until something either completely breaks. Um, but then that's also, I think also to do with climate change. I think we've just got to that point now where we, I don't think we can go back. I think we've affected it in such a way that there is, there's no feasible way to kind of go back, you know, in terms of bringing the temperature down and bringing our climate into a, into a state that the world is at that stage. It's just gonna, it's just kind of ruined itself. And I said about like, I wanted this rent about the social media and how it's affected my health, which I, you know, I mentioned, you know, and it affects everybody's health. And, I, and it, 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 it's this weird kind of cycle that I don't know whether it's just me that kind of sits there and has this, like that looks at it and just goes, you know, and self reflects and go, I can see how this is affecting me. And it's as a human species, we're almost losing that ability to have a thought about a thought mm. right that's that's what makes us the top of the species is we're the only species that can have a thought about a thought and i think there are people that are losing that ability because of the way that their environment has kind of done that and you know I, i'm the right it, the, my the biggest thing that i'm currently affected by is all this world events and you feel so hopeless that's the only way to put it you feel hopeless you can't fathom and understand or know how you as a person can affect i don't know how i can convince people you know for example to stop voting the damn conservatives in so the this country stops being rogered in the backside by a bunch of eaten based upper class morons who don't actually understand what it's like to go for a cost of li- you know go through the cost of limit living i don't understand how i can convince people that it's you know how i can you know express my opinion and engage with people because it feels so difficult to do that and it feels so toxic to express an opinion and discuss politics and things like that and it's also so toxic to express i want to affect climate change and it and it and it you feel, you lose hope and i've i've read a book that is called all about hope and you human humans can survive for a very long time in miserable circumstances if they've got some hope that it will get yeah. better yeah but i genuinely worry at what point you kind of go hmm this this is you're lose we're losing that hope that ability to continue on because you just go, what's the point? You know, for me, every decision that has been made so far this year or the last couple of years has felt wrong to me. And it's like, at what point does my opinion start? Do I, I give up giving my opinion? You know, do I give up going voting for the polls? Do I give up, you know, voting for that? It just feels so crazy. Um, and nobody educate, and there's, and and the, you know, I'm not saying it's a, you know, it's everybody else's fault. It's absolutely my own fault. Like, it's very difficult to know what do I educate myself on, what do I read, what do I learn from, how do I learn to engage with people. You know, 
we take Brexit, this is turning to rant, I just apologise, but if we go take Brexit, for example, right, the, the Leave side are to blame in the fact that they lied and they didn't have a plan and it's terrible, right? But the Remain side is just as much to blame because we didn't engage with people who were on the fence or even in leave and go, you know, we said, oh, if you remote vote leave, the stock market will crash. If we vote leave, um, you know, it's it's all uncertainty. And there's people that are going, yeah, but I can't buy shoes for my family. Why would I vote for the same as I have now? And they're promising like this glory ticket, which, yeah, it could be lies, but at least it's something different. I'm going to vote for something different. Whereas us you know, the folks that wanted to, you know, vote remain should have gone, no, if you do this, you're going to lose this right, you're going to lose this right, that we sh- we, we've foresawn and have proven. So that it's all about that engagement and education. And then, like I said, I've, I've now tried it, you know, I'm trying to do that engagement, but you just lose hope because people are either so stuck in their, their opinions or their ways, or there's such an overwhelming majority now that, from, in my opinion, harbour these toxic poor opinions about you know trump trump like trump should just never have got in he he should be in jail he is yeah, legitimately a terrible person why is he not in jail i don't know i i, I it still baffles me yeah i don't know and that's where i lose a little bit of hope and i'm probably in a worse state because i just go how can i how can you fight that how can you express that I, don't, I think the yeah I think the core of what you're saying, uh, and this is this is why I I do despair actually as, as each year passes. We now live in a world where you know whether whether it's leave or whether it's remain campaign or whatever they're all lying. Doesn't matter whether it's conservatives yes. or Labour or they're all lying. You, there, there's no trust anymore. You don't. There's, there's no truth anymore. There's no in this day and age that we're in. There's no right and wrong, and there's mm. no truth and lie anymore. It's just all gone out the window. It's like the Wild West. So you don't know. You don't know what to believe. You do, and and people, you know, if you take a look at, for example, um, in this day and age, when we're supposed to be in a much more enlightened and educated human race, you know, mm. take take you know, in the US, they're supposed to be, um, you know, got access, easy access to information and and all of that technology and everything that they they've got at their disposal, and yet you know it, it spawns QAnon. <laughs> you just go, mm. uh, really, really, mm. uh, it's a bit bizarre. So, um, yeah, it, it we just we don't have any standards or or. A, a barometer for anything anymore it's just it's all broken the whole thing is just broken uh, i i agree with you. Mm. It, you it leaves you rudderless um and and quite frankly a bit hopeless in, in the whole situation because yeah. you think oh well i don't know what direction to go in because it's it's like um uh, for me it's like standing in the desert we're, we're standing in the desert and it's, it's like yeah you, you can start walking anywhere you want because nobody knows where there's going to be water, where there's going to be civilization, where there's going to be safety, nothing. We're just stuck in the middle of this desert and just ru- running around aimlessly. And everyone's just doing their own thing. And we're just, we're just doomed to carry on like this. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, it's disheartening. It's massively disheartening. So. But apart from that, um, I'm I don't want to go... Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, no, I don't want, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, what I don't want, I don't want people to get the wrong impression to be like, oh, Dom needs help, right? Because... I am at a stage where I have this internal clock where I can go, this is not okay, right? So, you know, the last kind of year, year and a half, I've tried to engage with it. I've tried to, you know, speak about it and do things like that. And I talk about it on the podcast and I will continue to do so. But actually, one of the things that I need to probably start doing is looking after me and going, I'm just not going to watch the news. Like it's 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 beyond... Re- Point, pointless for me. Yeah, now. you've got to take a look at what's um, within your sphere of control. So you've got to protect yourself. And if part of mm. that is don't watch the news, because that's the other thing as well. Uh, it's not worth watching the news because the, the, the things that sell are bad news stories, right? So mm. that's all the news is going to peddle. So what are you going to actually watch the news for, read the news for? And, and how much of it is embellished and how much of it is actually true? And you kind of think, oh, 
this isn't doing my mental health any good. So what's the point of reading it? No, it's if not. It, if the chances are yeah. it's not true, or there's parts of elements of it that are not true, or there's elements of it that are exaggerated, and things, what's the point of reading it? It's not, if it's not objective and it's not giving you facts, you might as well not read it. Right? You might as well just yeah. switch off from yeah. it and just say, fine, okay, there you go. And just carry on with your life and focus on things that make you happy. There you go. Mm. <laughs> absolutely. A- absolutely. And, and yeah, tip for the day. Focus on the things yeah. that make you happy. Yeah, absolutely. They're definitely harder to come by, but got to find no. them. And at the moment, that's just this podcast. They're not that <laughs> hard to come by. If you watch Predator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that's one. In fact, I've got three. There are three that you can put on your list, your happiness list, right now. Watch Predator, <laughs> Predator watch The Rock, the rock and, face, and off. face Off. Oh, that's Not brilliant. only will it make you happy, it'll make somebody that we work with also very happy that is also incredulous about the fact that you haven't watched those films. Yeah, yeah you know who I'm talking about. There's, there's a few there people that's incredulous few, yeah, that I haven't well, watched these films. And I'm one of them as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> right. right. That was a Vanity Fair interview, kind of Woohoo! done and dusted. Woohoo, Love it was it. good. Uh, well, we only had about 16 technology disadvantages. I have yeah. no idea what these clips are going to be like. We'll just have to... Uh, <laughs> we could lose a lot. Pff, I don't really okay. know. Um, it's all right. I'm going to be... F- tomorrow, I'm going to be firing off about 12 <laughs> different emails. It's gone up to 12 now. Right, okay. It's going up. Yeah, yeah. Up I've decided each, uh, each 10-minute slot's going up by about an email. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, pointed questions. We've got five pointed questions. Uh, this is a this or that. Uh, I think we're going to do a quick fire ones for these ones, yep. Jerry, and then get on to the, the new stuff. So, uh, this one, I'm just like... <laughs> this is a Jerry's one, by the way, folks. I am taking no responsibility for this <laughs> oh, one. Okay. Shall I read it out, then? Would you... Yeah, go for it. Okay. Would you rather be tickled to death by an asparagus tip or Billy Eilish's eyelashes. <laughs> I don't like right. I, I'm gonna like confession. I detest being tickled. Exactly. Absolutely detest it. The worst feeling in the world. It is. It's horrible. But you feel so helpless, especially when you're pinned down. And and, and it's a bit yeah. like that that <laughs> the Will Ferrell film when he calls him tickle shits. He pins him down. He tickles him so much that. <laughs> He can't take it anymore, and then he shits himself. So it is a, it's a, <laughs> oh, yeah. so it is a horrible feeling. But if you had to choose, yes. just shoot me. No, no, no. You have to choose either an asparagus tip or Billie Eilish's eyelashes. I think I probably uh, is. Uh, oh, I'm going to ask my uh, my oh, my yes. uh, unladen swallowed question. Yeah. Is the asparagus cooked or uncooked? Cooked. I think I'd probably take the asparagus, if I'm honest, because I'd feel guilty about Billy <laughs> Eilish. Why do we have our eyelashes? What's happened to her? Maybe she had enough eyelashes to fall out that you can make yourself <laughs> like a little tickle brush with yeah. her eyelashes. I think, it, I think I'd go for the asparagus, I think. I'd just feel guilty. I'd go for the asparagus. It just feels more right. For me. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. It no, just it feels, does. It feels less wrong. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I think with asparagus, it actually feels right. It, it, no, it, it feels doesn't. pretty good. What you and your wife get up to is entirely up to you two. I can assure you. <laughs> Keep it off your pocket. None of those shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so Chloe. we're both... Yeah, she, she's cool. So we're both going for this. Probably have to apologise to your daughter if she ever listens yeah, to that as well. That's true. Don't <laughs> listen to episode fourteen, um, or certainly not not at this point of the podcast. Um, yeah, I think okay. So we're both. Oh, I can't tell you what the timestamp is. I can. Uh, about one forty-five. Don't don't listen from about one forty-five. Um, yeah, I, asparagus. There you go. It, there, there's two. Does, there's there's right. two for asparagus right there. Boom. Cooked asparagus. Uh, question two. Crushed iced or cubed Cube. ice? Cubed. Oh, Gotta be cubed. Love. Whiskey on the yes. rocks. Because crushed ice is you make like slushies and confession, I don't like slushies. I used to when I was a kid. I don't like them anymore. Um, no, I've, I've, not, I've never really been no, a fan. No, and, and 
you know, as an adult, when you're making drinks, like you say, scotch on the rocks or, um, mm. I don't know, whatever, any alcoholic drink or anything that you, where you put ice in it, surely you put cubed. You don't want it to, the crushed yeah. ice, it'll melt too quickly, everything becomes too watery too quickly. It's, mm. yeah. Appa- do you know the best shape for ice? Spherical. Ah, oh, not the asparagus shape. <laughs> and I have... <laughs> not asparagus Billy, shape. Billy not Eilish shape. Ice. Um, <laughs> spherical ice. Why? But because of the way it'll distribute yeah. the... Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. And if you have... Uh, um, so I've had, a, I've had a cocktail that you have like spherical... Sphere, a spherical ice sphere in 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 it and then you pour around it okay very nice. tasty and it smokes as well it's very good smoking is bad for you come mm. <laughs> it is but wrong type of smoking <laughs> the, the, the the cocktail smokes uh question three skiing holiday beach. or beach holiday <laughs> beach oh put it beach, beach. Beach, 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 oh, beach. I want beach, to do beach, both. Beach, 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 beach. I love skiing. I think if I had the choice, probably beach. Yay. <laughs> yeah, probably beach. Question four, tea or coffee? Oh, this is tough. Mm. It's very easy for me, but... It's not easy for me because during the day it's <laughs> coffee and at night I love to have a nice cup of tea before I go to bed. Well, so I have to choose one, don't I? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if we were to do like a desert island discs kind of a scenario and I could only take one crate of tea mm. or one crate of coffee, it'd be tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. I didn't expect yeah. that. Yeah, tea yeah? for me. Okay, nice. Tea is nice. nice. Yeah, purely because decaf tea, because I, I, I have to have decaf, decaf tea still tastes like tea. Decaf t- coffee is not tastes great. Tastes like arse. Yes. Take your brown water away from me. Um, yes. Cool. It's, uh, yeah, decaf coffee, cool. not good. So, uh, Question five. Killing bugs slash spiders <laughs> or removing bugs slash spiders? Okay, so morally removing bugs. But <laughs> there is a cruel... Um, this cruel entertainment to be had by killing bugs. So I've got one of those those uh, electric bats. And when you yeah, when you swat a fly with that, oh, it's very very satisfying. And uh, there was something I was thinking of, of investing in where it's like a gun that you put little grains of rock salt in it so you can shoot flies. Mm. And I think oh god, I could need to, that's going on my Christmas list. So I yeah, I think on, on a human level it would have to be removing bugs because actually as much as i don't like flies and i don't like spiders and uh, you know they've got a part to play in the ecosystem so yeah mm-hmm. i'm a i'm a capricorn i'm a peace just lover. not in my yeah, house just not my house or i'll kill you i kill you no i i'm a capricorn <laughs> i'm a peace lover so i'm going for removing bugs yeah yeah like capricorn as well uh yeah I, I tend to remove things um yeah, or leave them. Actually, with spiders. I'm just like, oh, just yeah, most. Of, yeah, I must fine. admit. I mean, my, my daughter and my wife just freak out. She just leave it alone. What's it? <laughs> it's you know, up there in the bloody skylight. What's it doing to you? Just leave it. Oh, it's a spider. <laughs> just leave it alone. It's that's when Larry comes along. Yeah. Chomp. <laughs> well, it's interesting. He he tries, but he's so clumsy. He's useless. He's never caught a fly or a moth <laughs> or anything, but he does try. And I'm sure he'd probably eat it, but yeah, yeah. you'll get that kind yeah. of noise that kind of comes along as he's trying to. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Along. My my old spaniel when I was a uh, um, when I was young, I, I grew up with cocker spaniels. I love cocker spaniels, um, and uh, mm. and my my yeah my my bless her heart, Topaz. She was so sweet, but she was so clumsy. But yet she used to be able to catch flies. So if there's a fly on the on the, on the glass in mm. front of her, she would just go and eat it. The fly wouldn't even move. It's mm. almost like the fly just went, oh, okay, go on, then eat me. Um, that was a bit yeah. bizarre. Whereas Larry's never caught one, which is quite, quite strange. Anyway, there you go. Removing bugs. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> um, cool. So we only had like uh, five of these because I wasn't sure how long that one is. Um, we've got a new uh, section. 
uh, in in here that we're going to do tonight. Uh, so we've got uh, I've called it Idioms <laughs> Investigation. Yes. Um, I don't know how in depth we're going to go tonight. I think we're probably just more of an introduction to it. But we're going to talk about idioms. So for those that don't know what an idiom is, the first one that we've written, which I think is great, all mouth and and I should say no trousers, all mouth well, and no trousers. Yeah. So if you do your research, there are there's two schools of thought. There's um, all mouth, no trousers, or all mouth and trousers. And actually, there's no right or wrong on that. And actually, there's no explanation either. <laughs> To what it what it means there's some <laughs> idioms that, that people have actually put yeah don't know the origin of this <laughs> don't have a scooby so I mean, yeah <laughs> so you know what it means but nobody knows where it came from and and it and that's why i chose this one because it literally makes no sense in yeah. terms of how, you know, how did that come so about I've just, I've, yeah so i'm just having a look and it, the original quote was all most men are all mouth and trousers yeah there you go uh and, I, and I've heard it being oh, used. So I've, I've heard, oh, you're, he's all mouth and trousers. And I've also heard, oh, he's a mouth. You're all mouth, no trousers. Either way, yeah. Which would? <sighs> well, I mean, the the adding the negative in into that sentence, I suppose, is it adds like all style, no substance, all talk, no all action. All sizzle, no sausage. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's exactly it's exactly the same meaning as all sizzle, no sausage. You know, it's. You, it's all blah 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 blah. It doesn't actually yeah. get anything done. Um, we have a few of those in our company. Um, we, have a few, we have a few of those in <laughs> politics. We have a few of those bloody everywhere. We, we have fewer who are who actually do things in politics. I think these days, um, it's pretty much all of them are all mouth no trousers. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean it's a. <laughs> like all mouth and trousers. I didn't realize that was the original. I d- quote. Uh, well, no, I don't know if it was, but I chose that one because for me that mm. makes even l- less sense than all mouth, no trousers. So yeah, he's all mouth and trousers. What? So he's all mouth. He's giving it all of that, and then yeah, he's also wearing trousers. Ooh, that just makes it worse. I don't. don't it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, yeah it's odd yeah i've never heard it of all mouth and trousers but that is the original kind of thing and i'm a bit (laughs) like okay interesting so how do we yeah right how do you kind of get that i I don't know that would suggest that somebody is a talker and a doer yeah exactly that's what i mean you try and break it down it doesn't matter how you approach this it makes no sense i don't understand the origin of it it just doesn't make any sense it's so it's just one of those things now it's just become accepted eyes oh, all mouth and trousers okay it's, there's another one which i'm not going to mention now because i think we'll put that in the next podcast there's one that you and i talked about uh, one of the idioms and i said oh yeah that, yeah i don't know where's that come from doesn't that doesn't make any sense um yeah so that's why a lot of the idioms. No, don't. they don't. Well, about fifty percent of them do. Or, or, you, or when you read the explanation, you go, "Ah, oh, okay." Like, yeah. The, um, yeah, there's one which sounds really odd, but when you read the origins of it and what it actually means, you think, "Oh, okay." Um, am I allowed to say it now? Yeah, God. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, a, a damp squib. Oh, that was a bit of a damp squib. And then most people get that wrong and say, "Oh, that was a damp squid," and you go, "No, it's not a squid." <laughs> It's a yeah. squib. So I won't say any more on that, but we'll come yeah. back to a damp squib. But you, it, it's it's really odd. But when you read it, you go, ah, got it. Okay. That totally makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a quick Google and it said it's it British. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. I mean, like, idioms are quite fascinating things, which is why I thought it would be really I love good. It. And we've got another, and we've got another thing to kind of do. Um, the second idiom that we have on this one is "pie in the sky," <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, which I couldn't find the origin of that either. No one knows. No, that pie doesn't really exist. In the sky. Apparently, it was first. Apparently, it was used first in 1911. God, so they're very specific about to... when it was first used. Mm, mm, but in what? Yeah. Um, that's, that's just all pie in the sky. What does that even mean? Like, like I mean, I know what yeah. it means, but you know what I mean. Like, what? Where did that come from? It's all pie in the sky. Pie in the sky. Yeah, 
that's crazy that's just crazy isn't it and it and, it, and you're just like what what is going on <laughs> so, what can you do um yeah uh, <laughs> such a weird one uh, it's such a, and i mean like it's, it's it's definition is an unrealistic and i'm like yeah like i if I saw a pie, yeah. you know, pie in the sky, yeah. well, but then is that similar to when like pigs when fly? pigs fly, yeah, sort of thing, or that, when doves cry? Oh no, that's Prince. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to divide the. Uh, when people say, "Oh, that will divide the room," because um, that's an old <laughs> song. In fact, I'm going to Google it. All right, yeah, I'm going to Google song. that, and then I'm going to ask you to guess what year that was released. Okay, so release date when doves cry. Okay. I think when I it's probably gonna make me cry. Oh my oh yeah, it is gonna <laughs> make me cry. Good lord. Go on, what year? You know the song I'm talking about, don't you? I'll go- the Prince song. Yeah. Decade seventies. Oh, okay, you've gone you've gone as far back as that. No, it's eighties. Eighties, okay. Eighty four. Oh, Dom, you got absolutely <laughs> on the money. 1980, yeah, 1984. Yeah. 1984. Nice. nice. Good year. That was a good year. That makes you... F- it was. <laughs> you won't know, but I know. <laughs> I won't know. It could be a good year. It might have been the year my parents got together. <laughs> Possibly. Hey, that was a good year. Don't know. Yeah, did my parents get married? 80, I want to say 86. I've actually got it written down. I don't want to start too much because I'm just I'm worried about something dying. Okay. <laughs> Sod's law. Uh, hang on, let me just check. Uh, 85, my parents got married. Cool. 85. Wow. So. There you go. There you go. Wow. 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 That's good. That's good. Oh, well, those are the two idioms that we've kind of discussed. I think uh, I think it was good just to kind of get those in. I think we're, we're both running out of steam and we're both very conscious of our technology issues. I think I'm just suddenly become very self-conscious. Yeah, of and we're, we're now on 1 minute 59 and 13 seconds, 14, 15 and counting. 1 minute so, 59. 59. One hour. Fi- oh, my God. <laughs> you can tell it's been 1 hour 59 because it's... I'm saying one minute fifty nine, one hour fifty nine, and twenty five, twenty six. <laughs> so I think we'll. I'm. I'm. In, I'm curious. So we've got two topical events that we wanted to, that I wanted to cover. I think the second one of those we'll I save agree. because it's still yeah. go, ongoing. We'll save the second one. But let's let's talk about the first one because um, we've mentioned it a few times. So this week um, has been a tad warm. Uh, hot. No, you need to be more. You need to be more warm. British about it, Dom. It's I've been a tad yeah, warm. It's been, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's been a tad warm. Uh, yeah, it's been bloody boiling. Uh, yeah, so um, in the UK on Monday, so this is a Friday, so on the Monday it was 30, I think I saw 39 where I am, and on the Tuesday it was it was the same. Over, oh, And cool. I remember waking up on Tuesday and I went to the gym at five o'clock in the morning and stepping outside and expecting a cool breeze and it was still hot. Yeah, because you know, some crazy temperature, <laughs> the, it, like 28 or something, at, even at that time. In it the, was still oh, 28 and awful. It, in the morning. And the only time I've ever experienced that is Jamaica. That's bad. So it was hot. It was really hot. Um, and I like the sunny weather. I am a lovely colour, like, although I'm, I've got white lights on me, so I'm very bleached at the moment. But I am a lovely colour this at the moment because I tan really easily. Um, but even I, by like, well, I stayed in the flat. I've worked from the office every day this week because air conditioning. But I Tuesday morning, I had a bunch of um, like meetings that I needed to do privately and couldn't get a meeting room. Um, and yeah, I just like my flat was just unbearable. It was so hot. It was unbelievable. I think te- yeah, Tuesday I reached a point where it's like, okay, this just is not funny anymore. I can't take it anymore. It was it was awful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, and I don't know. 
Uh, the sleep we mentioned about sleep. I think that's one of the reasons I've I've had significantly less sleep yeah. over the last one hundred percent five days. For me, I haven't slept for a week properly for a week because of the heat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's been awful. I'm knackered. Yeah. Oh. How how's the Larry oh, coped I, with it? He has okay. He has coped with it, but he just he just flops. He gets fed up because he gets bored. But then at the same time, if I play <laughs> with him a bit in the garden, he gets tired very quickly well not tired but he gets agitated quite quickly because he can't deal with the heat poor thing he's just a big fur ball yeah he just looks like a giant furry chicken goujon so he can't handle it <laughs> and then he comes back inside and just flops again so to be fair i mean you're not supposed to especially when they've got thick coats like that you're not supposed to take them out it's not good for them so we we yeah. just kept him in the house and tried to keep him as cool as possible put ice cubes in his water bowl and yeah. put the fan on him bless him mm. Were they, was it was it it was cubed, not Definitely crushed. Cubed. <laughs> I wouldn't insult him by putting crushed ice into his bowl. Yeah, that's <laughs> definitely the way to do it. That's definitely the way to do it. Yeah, and 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 I, I, it's like, I mean, I, I'm on my own and in the, in my flat, so at least I've got nobody else. Kind of like, <laughs> like I can't imagine being anywhere near oh, anyone else. Oh, it's, it's just, just so hot. hot. And then and then when um, yeah. Belle comes and, you know, she wants to come. And that's what I find incredible. She still wants to have, like, you know, snuggles with me. And I'm holding her and thinking, you're like a little radiator. For... Damn it. She's really cute, <laughs> this dog. But, but it's too hot for cuddles. Like, no, no, this isn't happening. It's a hua hua. And, I mean, we mentioned it earlier about, like, I mentioned it about, like, climate change kind of being on that precipice and kind of that tipping point. Um, and I think it's really, um, just one of those things where I'm like, I think we have reached that point of no return, even with climate change now. I think we have. Um, I know our company that we work for is very, very committed to kind of doing certain things. Um, but I know that it, it feels like a, you know, it feels like I could get solar panels. I could do this. I could, you know renewable energy i could electric car things like that i just feel like i can't make an impact as well there's just so many other places that just yeah i i, I think it's you know the, the company that we work for is, is, yeah is, they are really admirable for what they're doing and and you know for goodness sake all companies should take the same attitude and same stance and actually if they mm. did we would be in a much better place, but you know, you've got the oil companies, yeah. the energy companies, and yeah, you know, and you're talking about companies around the the world that don't take the ethical stance that our company does. So we're, we're screwed. You you need you need the majority yeah. to have to be in the same headspace and to do make the same commitments. And if it's it's like um, mm. yeah, yeah, and then there's a load of other things as well in terms of like um how to put it like you know these these oil companies have made record profits just as inflation is yeah. going through the roof and 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 it again it's like trying to fight you know, feel like you're fighting the man and and things like that um so yeah it's it's it's, it's quite strenuous i think is a term i would use to 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 be around that and be like hey you're making record profits and then i have to suffer at the the petrol pump a good like 100 quid fuel oh. tank fill up which is like oh Oh, that's painful oh, no. for my wallet Technology. but also it's like oh but also you don't give a crap about climate change we are going to what a podcast this is going to be to this. edit burrito oh, man. it's a wrap it's a wrap <laughs> i think we we do need to call that ear i think on this podcast because we oh, I'm, I'm, i don't know how i'm going to edit this i'm just going to think i'm going to leave it in and <laughs> All I'm going to say, folks, is I am going to email the platform that we're doing because we have paid money to use this platform. And uh, they said, oh, we could potentially offer you some discount for next time. I think this time I'm just going to be like, let's sort it out. Like, what is going on? Um, like, I, I could go into details into the, the thing. So my memory on my PC is just, just slowly creeps up. And it got to about 20. I noticed it got to about 20 gigs and then it just it killed the page. So that's why there might be a break and a corruption from my my end. Um, and then, yeah, my my... I just saw another spike on my, my card. So I don't know. It could be some hardware issues on my side. Um, but Jerry has his wonderful internet issues. So he needs to go to his internet provider and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, that would be Sky. So nothing's going to be done about that. So, Actually, yeah. well, it, In fact, it doesn't matter who you're with. Sky, BT, whatever. It's all the same. 
It's all it's all over BT's networks. So, so. you know, infrastructure yeah. and stuff. So yeah, no hope. Interesting. So I but, think based on the fact that we're both like, oh my god, these technology issues. It's quite warm still this week. Um, we're all knackered. Um, apologies, this isn't perhaps the most smoothest podcast that you will ever <laughs> listen to, folks. Um, we will endeavour to have these sorted, especially if we've got a guest on our next one, so which I'm very much looking forward to. Yes. So, Jerry, final thoughts? Um, cooked asparagus tips is the way forward. <laughs> That's my final thought of uh, <laughs> this podcast. It's, it's the only way to go. <laughs> Oh, well, I will leave you with, uh, it were right boring. <laughs> That's so my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening, folks. We will catch you on the next podcast. <laughs> Take care, everybody. I'm trying to keep us safe. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Much love. <laughs>